And I think now we are live in YouTube too, and not only in Rumble. So shalom and peace of Christ to everybody listening to us. Please invite your friends. And if you are a Mohammedan, we don't want to waste your time. Uh, please feel free to join us in Discord. You can call me immediately. You will see a link for my Discord in the info of the video, either in YouTube or in Rumble. So you choose which one you like, you know, to watch us through, or you can call me. Uh, today we continue with amazing Quran, and I'm really, really amazed with the Quran. And I am sure the Muslims, they agree with me. Uh, you know, as an example, uh, one of the amazing things about, <coughs> about the Quran, that it makes Muslims go dizzy. Literally dizzy. I, I look, I mean, if you don't believe me, look at this. So if somebody were to say, how can we believe these ahadith when Google Earth has mapped the whole world? We can zoom in and see everything around us. And there is no massive land hidden from mankind. The response is, Wallahu ala kulli shayin qadir. Allahu a'lam. <laughs> if we believe in the ahadith, this is what the ahadith tell us. This is what the ahadith tell us. And there's a simple rule that Ibn Taymiyyah mentions. Memorize this rule. Memorize it. The Quran and Sunnah does not bring the impossible, uh -huh. but it does bring that which astounds the mind. That's it. This is outstand the mind. Absolutely. I mean, come on. Sperm became a dead blood. Dead blood became a baby. <laughs> Suleiman dies standing, holding a stick. The termite eat his stick. So the Quran, the Quran, brother, this is blowing your mind. And many other things too, train stations, airport, airplanes, buildings. I mean, it blow everything. Mind. Is it impossible that somewhere underground Allah has thousands of people living? It's not impossible. It's, it's not. not impossible. Uh -huh. It's not surprising that our medieval scholars believe this type of stuff. Now, obviously, dare I say, anybody who knows science and geography and modern civilization, uh -huh. you cannot believe you cannot <laughs> believe that there is a tribe for four thousand years trapped behind a wall. You cannot believe. I mean, can you? If you believe this, any. If you believe in this, Yanni, you are a donkey. <laughs> hey, Muhammad, and who would like to join us? If this is your sheikhs, stating how much he is amazed with the fairy tale stories of your false prophet, Muhammad. This is your sheikhs. This is not an average guy in the street. If you believe this, Yanni, uh, Yanni you know what, Yanni? You, you get screwed, Yanni. I mean, the guy from Pakistan, and he he's using the Arabic Yani. Why you are using Yani? Are you an Arab now? Yani? So, here you notice how the Muslims, the Muhammadan, they are very backward and awkward, and how you cannot take what they say about the religion granted. I mean, this guy, he said the opposite just a few months ago. Uh, Mr. Error, are you there? Hello, Christian Prince, how are you? Hello, hello, hello. Are you a Muslim? Uh, uh, yeah, actually, I'm not a Muslim, but uh, you, I, I want to know s some topics about Islam. I would say. Yeah, but we want Muslims now to join us, if you don't mind. If we don't have Muslims, you can join me. Go ahead, can Shamsi. You just, uh, no. We have, uh, we, we have Shamsi. Yeah, you're going to run. This yeah. something you're going to uh, run from. Uh, this guy who said to me yesterday that the angel is the one who created everything. <laughs> yes. And I persist. And, and I prove it. If you're a man. Well, no, you're not. You're not to prove it. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, this will be recorded. We will post it everywhere. Guys, did you yes, hear? Yes, record it, please. Did, did you hear? The angel is the one who created everything. You got a chance to whoop me. Hold on. The this earth. is your chance to whoop me. No, no, I don't need to not need to whoop you. I, I, I'm, I'm using you to, to expose Muhammad. So you just said, everybody yes. heard you, the one who created the earth and the heaven, the one who created even Muhammad, is the angels. Everybody heard you. Get out of here. I, need, I do not need I, you for anymore. I That's never... it. No, 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 no. You are like a diaper. I used you and you are dirty. <laughs> the guy, he called me to prove to me that the one who created Muhammad is the angels. And the one who created the angels is who? 
the angels. <laughs> so the angels are the one who created everything. This, by the way, this is a top scholar from Senegal. This guy who just called me, you might think he is nobody. I'm telling you, this is very serious business. Uh, uh, let us show you. I mean, top scholars in Senegal, I'm, I'm sure they are so proud of... Uh, they did not elect him for no reason. Why, why he was number one in Senegal? Even the president of Senegal, he took the image in his wall behind him and he put it his main office in the president's office. Uh, so who is the one who created everything? The angels? <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one. <laughs> and this guy is so excited. Yes, you want to prove it to me. No, brother, don't, you don't need that set. I will use it as it is. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you this is the first part of my video i do not need to look for it later when i when i because i'm going to copy this clip and i will put it in my computer each time somebody call me i will say to him look this is the biggest sheikh in senegal who do not know arabic <laughs> he is the best one who can explain the quran he said that the one who created everything is the angels and he can prove it to me <laughs> You know, so when Allah, he says, I created, he don't mean it. He mean the angels that created everything, you know? Like, come on. You see, oh, this, is an, this is an amazing book, man. And then you say to the Muslims, who is the creator? They say, Allah. It turned to be the angels are the creators, not Allah. Allah never created anything. Do we have any Muhammad that would like to join us? Huh? You see all the verses here about the creation? It is not Allah who created. The Muslim, they lie to you. I, you just heard. If you, don't, if you did not hear it, go back to the first minute of, the, of this video today. You will hear the biggest sheikh in Senegal. He is the biggest sheikh ever. He has 18 wives. He is the biggest imam ever in history. When those Muslims, they say to you around the world that Allah is the only creator, they are a big fat liars. We have a proof now. I mean, what I would do with this religion? One guy, he say he, there's a hole in the narrative and the other guy, he says there is a hole in Allah. When Allah, he says, I created, he did not create anything. <laughs> uh, <coughs> See, when the Quran says we created you, this is not Allah. This is the angels. You heard, you heard the Imam. And you know what? I want to know why the Muslims are hiding such a talented Imam like ultimate, uh, I'm not going to call you ultimate fart no more. I'm going to call you ultimate shit. <laughs> I mean, you guy, you, you are the best shitty person ever I saw in my life. <laughs> And he's excited. He's waiting for me to call me to prove it. No, I do not need to prove it. I like it as it is. Leave it. Don't touch it. Don't break it. <laughs> we want to put it in the museum. We want to make a sign that says Allah created nothing. It's the angels. So when the stupid Quran, you see how the Muslims delight to you? Here we go. Finally, we heard the truth. They say to you that the one who created everything is Allah. Absolutely false. The biggest imam from Senegal, Abdul Muhammad Abdul Abdullah Abdul. Hassan Ali Abdul Muhammad from Senegal. He proved to us that the one who created everything is Allah. You know, Shamsi, I mean, look at you, you call yourself Shamsi. I mean, this guy, he is a, he's a this guy, he, he rob watches in London. You call yourself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we want a Muslim. Who is a Muslim from uh, if there is any other sheikh from Senegal? If there is any serious sheikh from Senegal would like to join us? I really start liking people if Senegal after I spoke to those imams. Seriously. Anyone? 
who is a Muhammadan would like to join us. And we can start today with the energies of creating everything. And then if you if you if you argue with me, Muslims, I will bring you the biggest sheikh of Senegal to prove it to you, not to me. I have nothing to do with it. Between you and the Sheikh of Senegal. Is that fair, guys? <clears throat> if a Muhammadan he said to me, This is a lie, I will bring him the biggest Sheikh of Senegal, Mr. Ultimate Shushu. <laughs> and I will sit and I will hear them debating each other so we can laugh. <laughs> anyway, anyway, Senegal, huh? Uh huh. Yeah. This is the biggest sheikh of Senegal ever, brother. Are you kidding me? Any Muhammadan would like to join us? Guys, why we don't have too many people today? What's happening? Okay, let us increase the number. Listen to me. If you invite a friend of yours, if you invite 10, I will give you one way ticket to Senegal. You go, you have lunch in the house of the biggest Imam of Senegal, Ultimate Fort. So invite your friends or else. All right. I have a, I, you know, I always I keep my promises, by the way. Like I promised once. Uh, a person who was always you know sharing link so I told him you know what if you invite more people I will give you a free ticket uh, and uh, yeah he invited actually you know he, he did so I keep my promise I give him one way ticket to Afghanistan since then I did not see him this was like 20 years ago <clears throat> so any anyway any of you would like to go vacation Islamic countries is the best by the way to go vacation I mean, even people, when they go to Indonesia, they don't go to Muslim areas. They go to where more, no Muslim there. You go check in Indonesia, you will see, you know, Indonesia is a hot country. It's a humid. And those poor Muslims are wearing hijab. She is worried. She will know. And then the nightclub is open. And women there are naked and they are conservative Muslims. True story. You invited 15, Jack. Hey Jack, do you think you can earn a ticket for 15? 72. The manual number is 72. You invite 72, one win ticket. You know, do you know that the song? One way, one way, one way ticket to the moon. But in this case, we will not send you to the moon because these days my relationship with Elon Musk, he used to work my driver, you know, I fired him. So I like, since then he, he is not... Uh, I'm not going to call him for you, sorry. You know, otherwise I can call him. He put you in a ship. He send you. I mean, we do not even need his ship. Who care? The al -Buraq, the donkey of Prophet Muhammad. He come, he knock at the door of Muhammad. In the beginning, the funny, by the way. Do you know that al -Buraq, the donkey of Muhammad, he refused to carry Muhammad? Anyone know the, the story? Who knows the story? Anyone remember the hadith? So the, when the angel, he brought the donkey, I'm serious, I'm serious. If you don't believe me, I swear by ultimate fart. <laughs> 72 versions? My friend, what 72 versions? No Muslim will get any version. Prophet Muhammad, he is the first one to enter heaven. Do you think Prophet Muhammad, who have the power of 4,000 men, and boom, boom, he will leave any version at home. <laughs> Those Muslims are poor, stupid. They think they will have versions. <laughs> Listen to me. When you go to the heaven of Allah, the first thing you do when you grab those so-called versions, you go, by the way, take with you a shampoo from Walmart before you go to heaven. I will tell you why later. So you go to heaven now. You arrive. They deliver you the 72 at least, depending on how good Muslim you are. And then you take them to the shower top. You make a lot of shampoo with the water and then you force each one of them to go down in the water. If bubbles came out, that means she was with Muhammad before you. She is not a virgin. If there's no bubbles, she is a virgin. So, you know, we have many ways, uh, scientifically proven, to prove the, bu the bubble method is always. 
I, I, I forgot to tell you, sorry. Uh, be sure to tell her not to fart. Because that can ruin the examination. How you will know now the, the bubble is coming from where? From her private part or from her, uh, you know, farting? So we have to be sure, you know. Do we have any Muhammad that would like to join us? Maybe, maybe. We learned today and yesterday from the biggest sheikh in uh, Senegal <coughs> that the one who created everything is not Allah. <coughs> uh, error, why you keep putting your hand up, my friend? I said we want Muslims. You keep putting your hand You are not a Muslim. And why people are so stubborn? Who is a Muhammad that would like to join us? I am really amazed with the Quran. Mm. Anyone? Okay. Well, if you don't want to join us, we have uh, Sheikh Yasser Qadi. So if somebody were to say, how can we believe these ahadith when Google Earth has mapped the whole world? Right. We can zoom in and see everything around us. And there is no massive land hidden from mankind. The response is, Wallahu ala kulli shayin qadir. Allahu a'lam. If we believe in the ahadith, uh -huh. This is what the ahadith tell us. This is what the ahadith tell us. Mm -hmm. And there's a simple rule that Ibn Taymiyyah mentions. Memorize this rule. The Quran and Sunnah does not bring the impossible. No, no. But it does bring that which astounds the mind. Exactly. Is it impossible is it? that somewhere underground Allah has thousands of people living? Hold on, hold on. What underground? What underground, Abdul? Those first of all billions, according to Muhammad in his time, 1,000 of us, sorry, one, one of them, he will make 1,000 baby before he die. Each one of them, before he die, he will make 1,000 baby. So, those are billions, trillions. Se secondly, Abdul Potato, you claim to be a sheikh. Where is says that they are under the ground? So now the Muhammad and they start saying, oh, maybe they are under the ground. No, the Quran is clear. Uh, you know, Zulqarnayn, he built a, a dam. He built a wall. They are not under the ground. They are not rats. The only rat is you. Potato. So, uh, uh, and by the way, if you don't believe me, check a chat LGBTQ. I mean, the guy yesterday from Pakistan, he was, I was really, I was shaking. When he said to me, he will check a chat uh, uh, LGBT, I said to him, "What? I'm, I'm, I cannot debate uh, the AI. AI, and he is a homosexual, and I am going to. I will lose." Yesterday, the guy he went to chat LGBTQ, and he destroyed me. I mean, he he, he ripped me apart. And then the answer says, uh, uh, "Give me twenty four hours." Uh, so you, the Indian guy from, uh, you know, Pakistan, if you are listening and you will find me the answer, you can join us. If you don't find the answer, it's okay. You can join us too because you will never find an answer anyway. All right? Yeah, by the way, some people, they think I'm making fun when I say Pakistan. No, no, in Arabic, we don't have letter P. In Arabic, we don't have letter P. We have Ba. Ba. Bra. <laughs> Seriously. So... This is why you notice most of Middle Eastern who they are not born in the in the West, when they say anything have to do with the letter P, they say ba. You know? Like as an example, I go to the store, I say I want shampoo. You go to the store, you say shampoo. Uh, however, my shampoo is not like yours. <laughs> Prophet Muhammad, his shampoo was the best. He takes shower with dead dogs and women blood from period. <laughs> And, and it's stinky garbage. So, yeah, we have shampoo, you have shampoo. So we are different ethnic group, and you have to respect that. Remember, in the West, you have to respect all cultures. I mean, those Western are really so stupid and so silly. All culture, okay, in our culture, we beat women. Do you respect that? <laughs> I mean, those, those, those uh, liberals are the most dumb, stupid people ever. We respect all culture. Hmm? Really? You do that? 
in our culture, when men walk in the street, they scratch their balls. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah. You will see the teacher teaching kids, and he's scratching his balls in front of them. What are you doing? A culture, this is a culture thing. You know, this is culture -ing. You know? So when those uh, Western, they speak about respecting culture and... Uh, and then they say interfaith, and interfaith is the most hilarious. One guy wearing a turban, the other guy having a necklace in his ear, the other one he, he thinks he is a hippie, the other one holding the sun, he, he worship Buddha, the other one he have a cross in his neck, the other one is a Muslim, he want to kill everybody. And then let us have interfaith together. I mean, that's really true. <laughs> inter what? I mean, you enter stupidity, you idiot. Do we have any Abdul? Any Abdul here? Uh, this is this is ultimate part. He came back again. <laughs> From nothing, halak and fatir. You don't know the difference. Do I teach you Arabic? Just get out of here. I will never listen to you no more. I got from you what I need. Allah created nothing, it's the angels. And the guy will teach me Arabic. And guys, he said many times he do not speak a single Arabic word, and now he is coming to teach me Arabic. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> what the heck? What you said to me, this is Arabic, supposedly? Man, let me call a translator. Get some prints. First of all, let me translate for you. Then person from the Nigal. And then why would he speak in Arabic? Nobody understand him. Zakanaik, but you do not know Arabic too. That's true. I do not know Arabic, but can I speak Arabic? Okay, how are you going to speak Arabic, but you do not know Arabic? Christian Prince, it's very easy. If you take the donkey, how to say a word, repeat, 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 you can speak it. Abdul, but if you teach a donkey how to repeat, 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 he will stay a donkey. Still nothing changed. Exactly. <laughs> He's calling me and he wants to, he wants to teach me Arabic. <laughs> What a hilarious day. One day I'm going to die from laughing. Oh boy. <clears throat> oh. Uh, who is here first time in you, in Ramble and in YouTube? Are you first time here? Give me one if you are first time in both, in Ramble and in YouTube. Uh, maybe in Ramble we don't have many They are new. Let us see how many new in Ramble. 10 million new people are rambled? That's nice. Okay, that's good. All right. In YouTube, 7 millions only? That's not good. Rambled the beat. Uh, we have to compete. <coughs> so if you are here in you, I say to you, you better go. Close the page, take my advice. Most of you are trying to lose weight. Here you will gain weight. According to scientific miracles of the Quran, the one who loves a lot, he is going to gain weight. Look at me. <laughs> you know, once once the, the uh, Allah, he wanted to get rid of me, so he threw me from the 12th floor. But because I am laughing every day and I gain so much weight, so I was bouncing like a balloon, like boing, boing, boing. I mean, Allah knows best. <laughs> you, you keep coming? Ultimate fart, you will keep coming, change your name and coming back. I mean, this guy, he cannot, you know, ultimate fart is the same as a person, he go to the casino. He lose his money, he come back to get the money back. Why you are here back? Hello? I'm exposing your ass, run again, boy. Why, why you run. are here back? Why you are here back? Will you say you don't know the difference between fatir and Allah, Allah created from if, if Allah he created, if Allah he created everything uh, that's the that is the maximum I can get from you. I think nothing can come from your ass better fertilizer than this. You can change your name and come back just for fun. Who care? Muslims, I have a clear evidence that the one who created everything, including Muhammad, was the angels. The biggest sheikh of Senegal. I mean, we are desperate to get a Muslim, and all what we get, this idiot. Why? Why, what I did? It's raining just Senegal these days? There's no Somalia? <laughs>
There's no Ilhan Omar. Anyone would like to join us, there's only two options to join us. Either you are from Free Palestine, from the woke society, the hippie, the Antifa, the stupid people, you are welcome. We like stupid people, we support them, we collect them, and even we enjoy talking to them. Seriously. So if you are from those who say Free Palestine, you are more than welcome to join us. If you are a Mohammedan who want a free Palestine too, but you could not. So you are asking the queer and the gays and the homosexual to join Hamas, <laughs> to defend them. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. Still you can join us, no problem. I mean, do you see how they make United Front to fight Israel? The gays, the queer, the lesbian, the feminist, they want a free Palestine. Ooh, free Palestine. Palestine for the free, for the free Palestine. I don't know even what they are saying. I mean, their voices is ugly. They are, they keep repeating like a frog. Walk, 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 walk. Faster, shouter, come on. <laughs> Palestine, Palestine. <laughs> Palestine, you idiot. You go join Mujahideen, defend them, not in the street. What the street here, you shout as much as you want. You know, the Jews there, they are doing what they need to do. What's wrong with you? You take your panty, you take your underwear. You know, once I was driving in the highway, and there is a car, a fancy car actually, but I did not see the, fa the car in the beginning. I stopped just because a guy, all, uh, like older guy, he is asking for, uh, you know, help. So I stopped my car. He says, can, can I go pick me up to the, to the city? I said, sure. And then he said, this is my car. It's not working. Broke. Yeah, you have a fancy car. Then he said to me, did you recognize me? I said, no. He said, look again. What's wrong with this guy? I said, no. And then he, saw, he took his hat off. He said, what about now? I said, listen, sir, even if you get off all your clothes naked, I will not recognize you. What's wrong with you? Do you want me to drop the, to stop the car and get rid of you? I just told you I don't look. A turn later, he is a famous actor. <laughs> he was shocked that I do not recognize him. <laughs> the guy he says, "Are you serious?" And I said, "What's wrong with you? Do you want me to open the door and get rid of you?" You know? I said, "No, no, no, no." <laughs> and then he told me his name, and then I searched his name in the internet. I found he's a very, very very famous actor. <laughs> he said, uh, and he told me his name, by the way. I said, what about I say the name for you? Maybe that will ring a bell. So he said his name. I said, I told you, I don't, I did not recognize you. He said, is that a prank? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> anyway, do we have any Mohammedan? No, honestly, he was shocked. You know, I don't really care for... I watch movies, I don't care for names. And in the movies, they look different, actually. They, you know, they put makeup for them. And yeah, I mean, it, it's him. For sure, it's him. I don't even remember his name now, but if I search in the picture, I can find the person. Even he gave me his hat. <laughs> he said, that, uh, he said, okay, take my hat and thank you. I said, there's no need. He said, no, I insist. <laughs> he gave me his hat. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, he took his hat off. I said, what's wrong with you? Even if you get naked, I will not recognize you. Stop asking me. I was getting upset. I mean, this guy, he keeps saying, what about now? So, well, <laughs> he reminded me of a Mohammedan. Uh, he, uh, <clears throat> he don't uh, flirt with his, uh, never flirt with his wife. Like never say something nice or his, his fiancé, sorry. So one day, uh, he uh, he got Japanese uh, watch. He said, "Are you alone at home?" She said, "Yes, I'm home alone." Why? He said, "I'm coming." I said, "Okay, okay, come before my family. Come be before my parents." So he came. He told her, "Close all the windows." Really? Oh, finally. Okay. So she closed all the windows, all the curtain. Closed the curtain too. The curtain too. Yes, we want it dark, totally dark. Sure, sure, sure. She closed all the curtain, and now he want to show her 
the Japanese watch would have light inside. <laughs> so who is a Muhammadan want to join us and close all the curtains and show us the Japanese watch of Prophet Muhammad who have light inside the Quran? Who want to do that? Hmm? Any Abdul? Do you have a Japanese uh, watch? And there's light in it? Hmm. No Muhammadan? I assure you that Ultimate 40 have a Japanese watch. <laughs> Who went a bit? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy <clears throat> oof <clears throat> yeah I remember when I was a kid you know like they start having those uh, watches and they were expensive in the beginning and like oof man the one he have it is like a superstar whoa what is that and the watch is always dark you have to hit the bottom any Abdul? Who wanna amaze me with the Quran? Look what this Yasser Qadi is saying. I cannot even handle what he's saying. This is really too much. So if somebody were to say, how can we believe these ahadith when Google Earth has mapped the whole world? We can zoom in and see everything around us. And there is no massive land hidden from mankind. The response is, Wallahu ala kulli shayin qadir. Allahu a'lam. If we believe in the ahadith, this is what the ahadith tell us. This is what the ahadith tell us. And there's a simple rule that Ibn Taymiyyah mentions. Memorize this rule. The Quran and Sunnah does not bring the impossible. No, no. But it does bring that which astounds the mind. Astound the mind. Is it impossible is it that impossible? somewhere underground Allah has thousands of people living? It's not impossible. It's not impossible. It's not impossible. It's not surprising that our medieval scholars believe this type of stuff. Now, obviously, dare I say, anybody who knows science and geography and modern yeah. civilization, uh -huh. you cannot believe, you cannot believe you that cannot believe. there is a tribe for 4,000 years trapped behind the wall. I mean, if you believe this, any... If you believe that, Yanni, you are screwed. Literally. You have a big nail in your butt. That's your position. I, I cannot believe it. I, I cannot believe it. I'm just being, I cannot, I, I find this very difficult to believe. Is it impossible Is it? that somewhere underground Allah has thousands of people living? It's not impossible. It's not, it's impossible. not impossible. They're in some place separated from mankind. There's What's a place actually causing you? There is a place is separated from mankind. Are you sure? So <laughs> There's a place is separated from mankind and this guy have a PhD? Really? What is that place separated from mankind? Is that Alaska? Huh? Abdul, there's a place is separated from mankind, are you sure? <laughs> Do we have any Muhammad that would like to join us? May they, may they. May they, may they. Do, should I say it uh, 72 times? <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan would like to join us? I want to be astonished with the Quran. I need your help. Hmm? What is those... Uh, uh, atheist girls, feminist groups who they were astonished by the Quran. Muslim lantern is taking Christian callers, but he don't take they dare to take my call. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, he take callers of those who do not know anything. The second he noticed that they are the scary, the, the one who scared the hell of him, he don't take them. This is why you have to open your camera so he can see first who is going to call. The second he sees something he don't like, he, he re reject the call. 
They are just a bunch of cowards. Do we have any Abdul? Any Abdul would like to join us? Listen carefully. If you join us, you will get reward from Allah. And the reward of Allah is beyond your imagination. Okay, don't touch yourself from now. Hold on. We are talking about the reward. We did not go to that part yet. So please stop touching yourself. Abdul, come on. Don't do that. I mean, why if I say Allah reward right away, Muslim, they start touching themselves? If there is a reason, if there is a connection, there is no way. The heaven of Allah is all about heaven. And heaven is what? Nobody touching nobody. Nothing. You know? Yeah, uh, ultimate fart, he will not go to sleep today. He cannot believe that we got him busted in the first two seconds and he agreed that the one who created everything is the angels. Hey, Yasser Qadi. According to the highest sheikh of Senegal, the one who created everything is the angels. And here is the question to you. Why the angels created Muhammad? Any Muslim can tell me? Hmm? The angels are the one who created Yasser Qadi. And they created ultimate fort. Allah created nothing. This is what we heard. If you don't believe me, by the way, if you are a Muslim and you think I'm making things up, go to the first two minutes of this video today, broadcast, and you will hear the highest scholar ever in the history of bamboo. Stating clearly from the scriptures of the bamboo, uh, I mean the Quran, that the one who created everything is the angels. And then come to me and tell me I'm lying. It's recorded. Any Muhammadan? <clears throat> Anybody? Nobody? Not a single Muslim. Well, it looks like there's no Muslim, more, more left Muslims. That's a good sign. You know, they are gone. I am assuming they are now in Rafah. They are fighting with Hezbollah against Israel. You know, the funny is Hezbollah, the, the leader of Hezbollah, they told him that the queer, they are supporting you. <laughs> What the heck? And now he feels so stronger. He feels really supported. Unbelievable. Do we have any Muhammad that would like to join? Anyone? Not even a Muslim. So I have to say that the only brave Muslim who can call us is the Imam from Senegal. He dropped poo, poo and we got fertilizer. They are screaming like women in London. Somebody of you sent me a video of somebody confronting Ali Dawa about mixing with women. But I noticed in the video behind him there is a white boy, white man, is almost naked. He have a flag in his in the in the in the in his ass, and he is riding a bicycle. Is a flag of Palestine and flag of the homosexual <laughs> in the speaker corner. <laughs> I mean, those are European, by the way. I don't know. There is something wrong with them. I'm not sure what's the problem, but obviously there is a mental issue. <clears throat> 
they, they found finally like a target in their life. Like suddenly they have something to work for. They have a vacuum, you know. This is what happens when you are stupid and you are empty. So anything, you, you are looking for anything to fulfill uh, your need to feel like you are important, doing something. And then when they choose something, they choose the most silly, stupid thing. Like, you know, before Gaza, the, the, those wick, wicked people, they were busy. They were talking about having a bathroom for men and women to be mixed. Just to make the transgender happy. So every time you open the radio station, they are talking about the bathroom, the bathroom, the bathroom, the bathroom. It's like nothing in the problem in the whole world except those stupid people bathroom. And now they forgot about the bathroom. Now they are busy with the free Palestine. <laughs> Any Mohammedan? Anyone? I have a message for you, free Palestine people. If the Jews leave Palestine, we Christians, we will take it. For those Muslims there, they have no right to be there. This is the land of our Holy Lord. Muhammad never been there, never saw it, never is, and he is not born there. So what the Muslims have to do with that land? The first time they came to it, they took it from us. So if you think you can get from the uh, get rid of the Jews, well then you will face the Crusaders, and trust me, this time will come and the Crusader will come back. The Crusaders are coming back. If those Muslims don't repent and stop their violence, the Christians they will find no way except defending themselves in every mean they should. Any Abdul? <clears throat> Any Abdul would like to join us? Hmm? There is a book, it's called al Jafar. The Muslim believe in it strongly. And that book say clearly, and every Muslim believe in that, say clearly that the Christians will take all their land back. And that include Iraq, Turkey, Syria, Jordan, Egypt, and every territory the Muslim they occupy. And the Muslim themselves, they believe in it. In fact, even Muhammad, he prophesied that Islam will shrink and Islam will die. In fact, Muhammad, he prophesied that Islam will die immediately after he died. Immediately. If you remember uh, yesterday, and this is the reference, Muhammad, he make it clear that once the angel Jibreel, he came to him and he said to, the, to, to Muhammad, your people after you, which means after he die, immediately they will be misled by the Quran. By what? By the Quran. Omar bin al Khattab said, The Messenger of God, may God bless him and grant him peace, came to me and I knew the sadness in his face. So he grabbed my beard and said, To God we belong and to him we shall return. Gabriel came to me just before and said, To God we belong and to him we shall return. I said, Yes, to God we belong and to him we shall return, so. That, Gabriel? He said, your nation will be tempted after you have passed for a short period of time, not much. 
I said, the temptation of disbelief or the temptation of misgivings? He said, all of that will happen. I said, where did that come from, since I left behind them the book of God? He said, they... They will be misguided by the book of Allah. Do you see it? So Muhammad says, how they will happen if I left behind the Quran? He said, uh, the angel, they go astray by the book of God. Do you see it? And this is the statement of their false prophet. Any Muhammadan? May they, may they. So since Muhammad's death, Islam is gone. And actually he mentioned right away that the first ones will be misguided is the caliphates. If you read carefully, you will see he made it clear. The first one and the first thing will happen, the one, the leaders and their leaders, they call them here princes and their uh, uh, rulers, they are the one who became the first to be misguided by the book of Allah. So who is the first rulers after Muhammad? The companion of Muhammad. All of them, they are kuffar. And how they are misguided? By the book of Allah. So how the Quran is a book of God and it's a book of my, uh, guidance and then Muhammad huh, saying that the angel told him that people will be misguided by the book of Allah. How the book of Allah can be misguiding book? Anyone? Ultimate fault, he cannot uh, go to sleep today, you know. That's it. He cannot go to sleep. <laughs> Ultimate fault, we have it recorded. And now it's documented. Thank you very much. Just go, man. Go sleep. Take it easy. Allah created everything. Not Allah. The angels. Thank you. So now you corrected every Muslim in the world that the true creator in Islam is not Allah. The Muslims, they believe in a big fat lie. So thank you very much. Just go. We don't want your dirty voice here. Clean your dirty wall first. Do we have any Muhammadan? Any Muhammadan would like to join us? Huh? Any Muhammad that would like to join? The only one we have is uh, uh, ultimate part. That's um, that's astonishing. <laughs> why why ultimate part? Uh, you know the only Muslim he can talk. What's wrong? Where is the rest? This is not even fair. There's no Muslim left. Only ultimate part. This is really disappointed. Ultimate fart, if I if I invite you, you promise me to not to fart? I will let people hear you just for a second so we can laugh. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, wa alaikum assalam. This How not, are you? I, I'm fine. I like the way you say assalamu alaikum. You know what? Um, I, I got invited by one of your audience. Uh, thank you for having me here. You're um, welcome. I'd like to just make a quick shout out to Theo. 
Uh, you're you're a real G for inviting me to this server. I don't even know what I'm, what I'm doing here. Uh, I just joined, so um, you know what? I'd like to just have like a small. I uh, so I, I mean, you know, I'm a little interested in Christianity, you know. Yeah, but uh, first uh, we want to know. A little bit of research, a little interested. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see um. Also, who's ultimate fort? Who, who is that? Uh, this is the biggest sheikh in uh, in uh, Senegal. He's a big sheikh. They have. Uh, like he is the dean of the universities of bamboo in Senegal, and uh, a lot bamboo. of bamboo. Yeah, what? bamboo. Yeah, this is the name of oh. his. Come on, we have to show respect. This is the name of his school, and he said, I don't know if you heard him. He says that when yeah, the Quran, when the when the Quran say we created you, this is the angels. So he believe as a big sheikh in Senegal that the one who created everything in Islam is the angels, not Allah. Do you agree with him? What? That, that goes against Islam. No, what? it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that created the world. So why so why he's saying the angel. So why he's saying that? I mean he said the reason it says we because those are the angels. If he says that then it's wrong. He said something wrong, simple as that. Is, so is that a wrong or a lie? Well what he, well he could be lying, but he's but we assume as Muslims we assume the best. So I'd like to assume that he was made. He's made an it's okay. A, then I will give you the I will give you the question, which make him give a wrong answer according to you, not lying. So when he said we created you, why Allah saying we? If it's not the angels, as you said, if it's Allah only, and Allah is one, why he's saying we? Uh, wait, hold on. May I first see what QuranWow.com? Hold on, because I I know. Um, wait. Can I? May I search? Wait. Let's see what um. Verse that is. May I, may I see that? Chapter six. I want to search it up on uh, Quran.com. You, you, you can see it. You can see it in my screen, right? You can see the verse number. Yes, I can see it, but I'm, it, <laughs> the website looks slightly sketchy, in my opinion. I'd yeah, like yeah, no problem. No from problem. my own. Uh, so, okay, uh, you can search in your computer. Surah Al-Anam, uh, which verse is it? Ninety-four. Okay, so uh, six. Uh, 94. Let me see this. Verse 94. Okay. So I see today you have come back to a. Oh, let's see. Let's see some search things. The 93 first. Who does more wrong than the one who fabricates lies against Allah or claims? I have received revelations, although nothing was re revealed to them. Or the one who says, I can reveal the like of Allah's revelations. If you, O oh Prophet, only could only could only see the wrongdoers in the throes of death, while the angels are stretching out their hands, saying, Give up your souls. Today you will be rewarded with torment of disgrace for telling lies about Allah and for being arrogant towards his revelations. So my friend, Today, my, you have so my, come my, back my, my to friend. us all you, alone uh, as we create. Hold on, let me finish my okay. boy. <laughs> <What? laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little, I'm a little emotional. You are what? <laughs> you are being emotional? <laughs> Today, you have come back to us all. <laughs> Abdul, just another Abdul, potatoes, hello, salam, 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 how are you brother, I'm fine, who is with me, where are you from, from uh, Bamboo Town, where are you from, about you, Bamboo Town, <laughs> <laughs> where is Bamboo Town, Bamboo Town, town, it's in South Africa, Wow, you're African. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm a black, blonde, African American from Japan. Where are you black from, blonde. brother? You're a black blonde. What? This yeah. is Africa. This is not blonde. What is this? Yeah. So, are you a Muslim, brother? Alhamdulillah. So uh, we are asking here a question about why Allah yes. He say why Allah He say we and He is one. Why Allah He say we? Should I tell you? Should I, are you sure you want to hear? Sure, absolutely. Are you hundred percent sure? It is simple answer. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> Look, in the Arabic, uh -huh. we have something for the royal people, right? Uh -huh. Or for the royal essences in this uh, in this uh, example. 
um, in Arabic, it is we. Uh -huh. But it does not mean multiple people. This is the explanation. It is very simple. It's uh -huh. not even the angels or something. It is your own interpretation. No, no, it's not me who said the angels. This is a guy, big sheikh from Senegal, who said that. Oh, ultimate fart. I heard of him. I heard of him. He is big yeah. sheikh of Senegal. Yeah, he's a big sheikh in Senegal. He's the one who said that. He has said something wrong. You, you know, mistakes happen, my friend. Okay, but I will go with you now. So you said to me, oh. this is this is royal in the language. So you are royal. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you are saying to yes, me, royal. Allah, He think that if He is one, He is not enough respected. So He used the language to be more respected by being many, even though absolute, it's a, absolute interpretation of you. You said uh, this is interpretation of big sheikh. You're putting your own interpretation. No, no, you are the one who said to me. No, 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 no. You I said, have framed you. We have you, people recording this. You are you, liar, liar, you, chicken. You uh, say, you, let us see who is the chicken. You say oh, no, 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 that no, no, Allah, he used we, he used we as royal, but this is the royal, yes, royal. but when the royal, they use it, first of all, it is because yes. they are speaking in the name of the royals, not in name one okay. person. So the king is elected by the nobles and the the, the, the leaders elected what the king. What is this guy yapping so about? He say, what is, so why, he say why are we, we talking about so royals? Allah, what if, if Allah is one and he say if we... If are asking about if, elect, if uh, election is haram, then yes it is. But don't change topic. So if Allah is one and then he Brother, say we... Brother, you talking about election, man. What do you mean don't change topic? <laughs> So if Allah is oh, one, nothing, no nothing. if Allah is one and He used we to be respected, that means Allah He don't like to be called I because this is disrespect. So your God Allah, He considered yes. monotheism an insult to Him. So He chose to have fake we, even though He is one. So Allah, the fake we, He feel Brother, better. Are you going with, crazy? This is what you are saying to me. Everybody heard you. Brother, Allah, he from, from, from Muslim to you are Christian, yes? Uh huh. Sorry, what is your denomination? Uh, a Christian. Are you Catholic, Orthodox, Protestant? You um, all I'm all of those, whatever you want, whatever, whatever you like. But change all topic. All of those. Whoa, follower, whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa. follower of the God, we don't change the topic. So, why he say we if he's one? Obviously, your God, Allah, he don't like to be monotheist, he like to be polytheist. Look, if he doesn't like to be monotheist, then explain me this sentence, okay? Go ahead. La ilaha illallah. Explain this. That's really funny. Uh, because you just said to me that your God, Allah, have a God. Right? <gasps> yeah. Look, because, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me show you. In the Quran, no. it says. In the Quran, it says. No Okay, let us see. Did, did your God in the Quran... Have I been, have I been did, refuted? Guys? Everybody type in chat right now. Have I been refuted? Yes or no? All right, all right. Let's see. Your God, Allah... Did your God, Allah... Did you, did your God... When somebody convert, when somebody convert to Islam, he takes shahada. Is that correct? Yes, 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 yes. Should I tell you so, the shahada? So did Allah take shahada repeat, too? Repeat after me. Wait, wait, one did, second. So did, Allah take, did, so did Allah take shahada too? <laughs> what? Did Allah take shahada too? <laughs> wait, let, let me, wait, can you put on the verse, please? It's in front of you. If your God is God, why is taking shahada? Can you, can you read English? No, I do not. You read English. No, do you read, 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 do you read sentence, English? Please, please, for the love of God, read the sentence. Do you read English yourself? Your God taking shahada. Read the sentence. Huh? It doesn't say la ilaha illa Allah. It says Allah bears witness that la ilaha illa huwa. Who, it is, uh, uh, who, who, who is he? So if Allah is the one is talking, he say he who? Brother, <laughs> this, is, uh, this is understanding problem. Ah, no, no, hold on. You say to me, okay, who is the one? Hold on, I'm not holding on. No, 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 no. Who is the one is talking? Who is the one? Who is the one is talking? Is it? You have is been it? cooked. You have been this. You, this exactly, is framed. Exactly. Who is recording of people? You have been cooked. I will spread this in my um, thirty member server. Thirty member Islam server. You have, you have been cooked. No problem. Very, very, very good. Very good. Brother Twitter, he got good. So now Allah saying there's no God, but He, He who. But what do you mean he who he who ha? What do you he mean? Should say, you know, he, he should know, say I. He should say I. If the if the one if the one is talking, if you are the fool. If the one is talking, he should say I. There's no God but me. He don't say he. He who. 
brother. This is uh, the Arabic language. You cannot you cannot uh, put the English language, the translation with the Arabic do you, language. Do you, do, you know how, do you know how to read Arabic? Very, very slowly. Sadly, not very good. Ah, but you're, a second ago you told you me Arabic read, language. Read I thought you are expert. No, no, no. Read for me, so why you So why you mention Arabic if you are not expert? Oh, no. Read for me, please. I want I you do to not read know. Arabic. I do not know. I'm, I'm illiterate like your prophet. Oh, oh sadly. Okay. Uh -huh. No problem. No problem. Uh -huh. So now why Allah he took shahada? But bro, it is Huwa. It says there is no... Allah witnessing to, Allah witnessing to who? Allah. You see, I Sir. witness. I witness in the front of a judge. I witness in the front of uh, someone higher than me, authority. Allah, he witnessed to who? What? Let me Sorry, repeat. I am not hearing you very well. You're in South Africa. Exa Actually, exactly, exactly. exactly. Shaitan, he peeing your ears as a prophet Muhammad said. So Allah is witnessing. <laughs> Allah, he witnessed to who? No, I, no, witness, no, I, not, I witness, I witness to the... I witness in the front of a judge. I witness to high authority. Allah, he witness. Allah, he witness to who? What is this? Did he take his spirit or what, man? In chat, man. What is this? Listen, listen. Your accent is very hard to understand. Can you speak in your Bolond? Yes. Okay, okay. I will try to fix it. So, brother Fitter, if Allah is the only God, so why Allah is saying? Why are you speaking like? You are mocking. You are mocking. No, no, don't you, do you make you make fun of my accent, so I have to speak like Zach and Mac. Almost him understand Zach and Mac. This is the accent you like. So listen. <laughs> so brother Sitter, brother, you're asking for him. Why Allah he say we? If Allah is the only one, and then Allah he takes hada. So Allah he takes hada for two, and he witness who? This is a very easy question. So Mr. Mr. you can answer you. Allah he say we, and Allah is witnessing taking hada. Allah witness who? The mic, the mic is yours. Oh my God. You actually can do that very well. How? What did you learn that? I I, I graduated from Bamboo University. <laughs> Guys, so that listen, was the most so listen, talk I have ever Allah, heard. Allah, He bear witness to who? What? Allah, He bear witness to who? To who? To who? When you take shahada, you bear witness to Allah. So Allah, He bear witness to who? It is a simple answer. Do you want to hear? Do you want to call a friend? No, no, no. Do you want? Yeah, yes, yes. Put on, put on Jarar Abdul. Maybe he can help me. Jarar, I need very much assistance. Jarar Abdul. Jarar Abdul. Jarar Jarar Abdul, Abdul, Abdul this is Jarar ultimate. Abdul. This is ultimate fort. This is. Said, I, is no, it, no, this no, is the no, same no, ultimate no, fort? No, no, no. Oh my God! You said I can put on friends. So put on friend now. Put on Jarar where, Abdul. Where is where is he? I don't know. Maybe they block him because they thought he's ultimate um, fort. Profile picture, Arabic profile picture, put him uh, Jaral Abdul. Jaral Abdul? Where we can get him? He's in the chat? He's in the chat, man. Jaral Abdul, my brother. Hey, guys, uh, where anyone see Jaral Abdul? Munir Mane, do you want me to do screenshots? Man, your South African eyes are very showing. Okay, is his hands up? Yes, hands up, man. Well, I don't see him. Admins, can you invite him? The admins, if you see him, uh, for me, I don't see him. Right now, right now, no, no, right now, Jarrah Abdul. Okay. If I don't get him on, you said I can put on anybody. You said uh, if you if you don't get him on, I will very sad, very sad. I mean, that's even better. You get sad. I mean, I like to make what? Muslims sad. <laughs> Do you mean even better? What? I like Muslims to be sad. You know, Muslims always sad. I I saw the Muslim they beat themselves every uh, every every year twice. <laughs> every year beat themselves, man. What are you saying? Yeah, because they killed the Hassan and Hussein and Ali brother. Don't you know? That is yeah. I am not sure. I am Sunni. Alhamdulillah. Oh, you are the one who killed them. Ah, you are the one who killed the grandsons of Muhammad. So can you tell the people why you killed the grandson of Muhammad? What? Why you killed them? Why you killed the grandsons of Muhammad? I did not kill him. It was the Shia. I am very knowledgeable on this topic. Hussein was not killed by the Sunnis. He was not killed uh, by the. He was killed by the army of Yazid. Ah. You know who the army of Yazid and is? Yazid, was Yazid a Sunni? He was Sunni, Alhamdulillah. But his, <laughs> army was not. his army was not. But you said you just said that it's not the Sunni who killed him. But now you said Yazid is a Sunni. Wait, wait. Look in your chat. The people what they're saying. Edwin Allen said. Buzz smoking way too much of the good tawheed. So listen, listen. Allah takes shahada to who? No, 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 no. You find this funny? You find this funny? Allah takes shahada to who? Answer. Put on Jaral Abdul right now. Let him give you the answer. I don't see him. Oh, no, put Let on him Jaral give Abdul. You, 
Let him give you the answer. Let him give you the answer and he can join us. Come on, Gerard Abdul. Call him. Call him in your phone. Let him be in the in the voice with you. I don't see him. I don't know him. I want Gerard Abdul. He is my new friend. My new friend. Oh, okay. Put him on right now. Put oh. on Gerard Abdul. Okay. Get your girlfriend together and, you know, make a voice call uh, in Skype and call me back, both of you. Well, you know, Abdul, you know, Abdul. You are not even a man enough to answer alone. You need the tons of people. Bring them. You call him. Why him did join. you put me away? Huh? Why because did you put on Jalal Abdul right now? No, we don't. Uh, boy. Well, I don't see him. Crazy. I don't see him. What, what? Are you blind? He is in the chat right now, Jaran Abdul. Uh, be very good uh, proper picture. I think he's blocked, maybe. Hold on, hold on. I see him now. Hold on. Black? What do you mean by that? Okay, here we go. Jaran <laughs> Abdul. Jaran Abdul is with you now. Is that ultimate fault? Put on Jaran Abdul right this, now. This is ultimate fault, the one who says the angels created everything. I don't know who is. Is uh, Jaran Abdul. Assalamu alaikum, Akhi. Go, go. Ultimate Easy. fault. Like a little coward, watch so, him run. So listen, Rose, Boz, this Is guy he, he said, listen carefully. This guy he said, yes, the yes. angels, the angels is the one who created everything. Do you agree with him? Yes, Look at the same words. Wait, 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 the same words. You are the one. Man. You are the one who said you want him. What is stuff for Allah? Hold no, on. No, 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 we can talk I... three on the same time. So Boz, Boz, listen. This guy, yes. the one you asked me to Put invite, the same words. this yes, one, yes. he said, yes. the, angels, the, angels Muhammad, the angels created Muhammad, the angels created Muhammad and Adam and the whole universe. Do you agree I with that? I never said that. I okay. never said that. You said that. It's that. recorded. Yes, it's recorded. Yes, it's yes, recorded. Yes, you said the angels yes, created yes, everything. Yes, what? Yes, what? Ah. Chicken butt. <laughs> 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 Just a bunch of kids. <laughs> we can play you, uh, Ultimate Fort. You got recorded. You said, yes, the angels created everything. Do you want me to play it for you? I can go right now. Here we go. Give me a second. I will put the sound. In Rambo, let us see. Join us in Discord, you can call me immediately. You will see a link for my Discord. In Google Earth has mapped the whole world. My, let us see. You cannot <laughs> believe that there is. Danny? Me? Well, no, they're not, they're not. Here we go. If we don't have Muslims, you can join. Listen, listen to him. He says, everyone created by, by the angels. Listen. We have, uh, we, we have Shamsi. Yeah, you're going to run. There's something you're going to run from. Uh, this guy who said to me yesterday that the angels is the one who created everything. <laughs> and I persist. And, and I prove it. If you Guys, did, you, did, you, did he confirm now? He said, and I insist and I can prove it. Did he, did he say that? Did you hear it? I said, this is the guy who yesterday told me that the angels created everything, everything. He said, yes, I insist and I can prove it. And then this coward, he's trying to swallow what he's just said because Muslims are start laughing at him. Awkward and awkward. And Listen carefully again. <laughs> what they say about the religion granted. I mean, this guy, he said the opposite just a few months ago. Uh, Mr. Error, are you there? Hello, Christian Prince, how are you? Hello, hello, hello. hello, hello. You want to go Muslim? back to Ultimate Fort? Uh, uh, yeah, actually, I'm not a Muslim, but uh, you, I, I want to know some topics about Islam. I would say. Yeah, but we want Muslims now to join us, if you don't mind. If we don't have Muslims, you can join me. Go ahead, Shamsi. Listen to Shamsi. We have uh, we, we have Shamsi. Yeah, you're gonna run. This is something you're gonna run from. Uh, this guy who said to me yesterday that the angel is the one who created everything. <laughs> and I persist and, and I prove it. Persist. You're man. Well, no, they're not. They're not to prove it. Uh, thank you very much. This will be recorded. We will post everywhere. 
Guys, did you yes, hear? Yes, recover, please. Did, did you hear? The angel is the one who created the earth. You got a chance to whoop me. Hold on. The this earth. is your chance to whoop me. No, no, I don't need to no, whoop you. I, I, I'm, I'm using you to, to expose Muhammad. So you just say it. Everybody yes. heard you. The one who created the earth and the heaven, the one who created even Muhammad, is the angels. Everybody heard you. Get out of here. I, don't, I do not need you for anymore. <laughs> That's it. No, 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 no. You are like a diaper. I used you and you are dirty. <laughs> <laughs> and I persist, I can prove it. And now he's saying he did not say that. I mean, do you see how potatoes, I mean, we record them. It, 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 those people is the same like the guy who just pissed on the wall and his piss is still wet there. Everybody can see it. And he said, it's not me. We just saw you. I have an echo. Because I became Allah. Let me take Shahada. Allah bear witness. Witness, witness, witness. That the is like, la, 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 so Allah, he bears witness. What, what else he bears? You see, the second you ask them a question, like the guy, he can't answer. Allah, he witnessed to who? This is God. If the God himself is taking shahada, who is, what is wrong with this religion? The lizard took shahada, Allah took shahada. Lizard and Allah is the same. And then Allah, he says, Allah bear witness that there is no God but he, he who. And what do you mean by witness? Do God need to witness? Just say only, I am the only God, that's it. What do you mean bear witness? Bear, bear witness, bear potato, bear tomato, I don't care. We make you sometime round, sometime we make you square. Do we have any Muhammadan beside those laughable Abduls? Let us see. If you are a Muhammadan and you like to join us, please feel free. And if you are watching in Ramble or in YouTube, don't forget to give us this like. You know, and we are Arab, we like to collect dislike. Like why Hamas did attack the Jews? Because they liked to dislike between people. But what happened, the opposite, the blondie and the wicked people of America and the West, they like them. Uh, Vespers, your mark, go ahead. Yeah, thank you very much. My is question I want to ask. What is your religion, my friend? I'm not a Muslim. What are you? Hello? Hello? What are you? What are you? Christian. You are what? Christian? Yes. What do you think of Muhammad? No, what I want to ask is... Uh, I know, I know. What do you think of Muhammad? No. I, want, I want to know first, what do you think of Muhammad? I don't have any... Because I, you don't I don't have, have any... any uh, you, left, you left your opinion? You never heard of Muhammad before? I have not uh, thought about it as such, you know. You did not, a lot of service. Ah, okay. Do you watch cartoon? No, no, I don't. You don't? Do you watch Muhammad? I don't even know where I can watch it, you know, that's the issue. Ah, okay. I don't know. I have a feeling that you are a Muslim. No, 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 no. Okay. Never. So what do you think of the Quran? <laughs> is, is the Quran a beautiful book or a stupid book? <laughs> What do you think of the Quran? I said, I say I don't have the opinion about it. Okay, but the I, will, issue I, will is that... I will help you. You don't have much information, so I will help you. The Quran says you can beat your wife. Do you support that in chapter 4, verse 34? My religion doesn't teach that. So I only fact, follow what I'm not my asking religion about your religion. I'm asking you, do you support the Quran? Right. Do you agree with the Quran? I normally follow. Do you agree with the Quran or you don't agree? 
if I have a religion, why should I be going to other religion to get out of here? But they too. Abdul. Yeah, Nigerian Muslim. Potato, they, you know, they hide. I want to go to Nigeria, by the way. I want to join the, I want to, I want to join the biggest scam school in the world. Very ethical Muslims there. Do we have any Mohammedan? Anyone? Who is a Muhammadan would like to tell me why Allah he bear witness? What else Allah he bears beside witnessing? Hmm? CP can smell all the rats. My friend, you do not need to smell them. They have tail. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Do you need to smell the rat? He have a tail. It doesn't matter how much he tried to hide it. It is long and narrow. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, boy. <coughs> yeah. <clears throat> Any Muhammad that would like to join us? Come on. Mention 100 orphan girls about married creepy old men where is that in Nigeria yeah this is the Allah will bear witness for this marriage this is a marriage this is not kidnapping or rape no this is marriage Allah will bear witness for it okay Hassan how are you doing Hassan you keep lying uh, Allah is a fatty just get out of here part boy you will never speak here again. We got you recorded and everybody will. Uh, I mean, how many times I have you recorded and you spank you? I mean, don't you give up? This guy, he is a gambler. He play, he lose, he come back to get his money back. And he never get the money. That's it. Whatever into my pocket will never come out. That's it. Don't even think about it. The angels have created everything. Everybody heard you. Good. Go, Amar. This is the same. Yeah. You are a Muslim. Yeah. You are a Muslim, Amar. Yes, yes, Alhamdulillah. Yeah, you are welcome. So, what do you think? Why Allah taking shahada, Amar? Allah taking shahada. It's rather a metaphorical. Oh, uh, metaphorical. Uh, what? Okay. It what means that Allah, like the the attributes and the, the creations of Allah are uh, evidence that there is no God but Him. So the idol worshippers uh -huh. wouldn't worship those many different gods. They would just worship him. But uh, I thought Allah, he said already that he is the only God. So why he is bearing witness to who? He was he's witnessing to those uh, pagans? No, he's saying that uh, those, uh, he's saying to those pagans to only worship him. All right. I will go with you. But here it says there's no God but he. He who? Yeah, it's saying that, that Allah and um, the, the attributes of Allah, rather not not Allah Himself, but the attributes. My friend, of, you keep saying attribute. What attribute? What does what does, what does, do, what does have to do? What does have to do with attribute? It says Allah He bear witness. Does it say attribute witness? Why you keep saying the word attribute? Okay. Uh, Allah is you, the one who you? witness. Allah is the one who witness, no. not the attribute, Mister Attribute. So, like when you when you read something metaphorical, do you? Do you go and understand it, like uh, how this is uh, metaphorical? Are you, you saying to me? You, are you saying to me Allah is not one? This is metaphorical one. No, it's because you it's saying, saying that you said this is metaphorical. Either Allah is one, or it's metaphorical. It can be both. Either it's a metaphorical one. This is metaphorical. Okay, so now witness. Allah, He said it is He. Allah, Allah said. Allah bears witness that there's no God but He. He who, if I am the one is talking and I am Allah, I will say there's no God but I. I don't say there's no God but He. Because the attributes are bearing 
Where the attribute? You keep mentioning the word attribute. Are we talking about attribute? You cannot find one attribute here in the verse. You are adding things up. What attribute? It says that there is no God but He. Is that attribute? Well, uh, because the thing is that in the, if, you, if you finish the rest of the verse, uh -huh. it says the angels. It mentions the angels. So that's why it mentions He. Okay, hold on. The here, actually, actually, here you, you have a problem. Here you have a okay. Thank Sorry. you. You mentioned that because now we have bigger problem. It says there is no God but He and the angels. No, that's not how I will read it. Re you are reading translation. Re read the Arabic. No. Read, read the Arabic. No, I, I okay, okay. Yeah, so it's saying that that Allah uh -huh. bears witness that there is no God but He. And the angels bear witness that there is no God, but he... No, 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 where, where it says, and the angels bear witness, where it says that? Well, well, no, 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 it says... Do you know what is, you know what is listen, 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 listen. Well, malaika, this is a different sentence. It says, well, malaika wa ulul ilm qa'iman bil qisti. So now, those who they are, the malaika, the angels, and those who have knowledge, they are the one who do what? What they okay. do? What they do? Uh, how, how what they do? Have you seen what they do? They maintain. Mordo. They are the uh, one who maintain a creation in justice. Do you see it? Uh, have you seen Muslims perform ablution? Listen. Do you see that the one who maintain a creation is the angels? Mm, where am I? Uh, It's, it's saying that the angels are bearing witness. No, there's nowhere it says bearing witness. Hey, can you go to the Arabic? Here we go. Okay. Yeah, so God is maintaining justice. So I thought the one who is maintaining justice is God, not the angels. Yeah, that, well, that's what it's saying, that God is the one who maintains. No, it says the angels are the one who maintain let's, the creation. Let's, let's tackle, My let's friend, even your, step even, step your, you even your translation, even your, even your translation saying that you, can, you speak yeah. Arabic, it says, and the angels, and the angels, and those who have knowledge, they are the one who maintain justice. No, first tackle the who part, who Okay, so now then, when we add when we yeah. add wa wa is a haraf atof, which means and. Do you agree? Yes, I agree. Yeah. Okay, that means now we are polytheist because the angels and Allah and those who have knowledge they are doing the same exact thing. Okay, okay. Now I would be with you. Uh, have you seen a Muslim perform ablution? Yeah, I, I saw the Sabi and perform ablution, and this is where your prophet he got that from. But what okay. does have to do with my topic? Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, so when the when the Muslims perform ablution, do they wipe their feet or do they wash their feet? Uh depend in the sect, some they wipe it, some they wash it. But you should do it the same as the Sabian. Okay. So uh, they they wash their feet. Okay, okay. if you go to, to Surah Ma'ida verse 6 what does have to do what does have to do with the verse here no yeah, because i am explaining like to explain a verse there there are many ways one way is to explain it using another verse no no no. So hey, you will finish here we can go there we are talking about oh, we can switch to evolution because you muslim when you no, take evolution no, 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 you, you muslim when you take evolution you don't do it you when you do a problem when you do evolution like, my friend when you do evolution you are not doing it like your prophet you muslims are not following muhammad no more your prophet, when he take ablution, he have a specific water he use. Water should have dead dogs and women of blood from period and garbage. Is that true? You you keep switching topics. It's you who mention ablution, not me. Is, I was talking very, here. You are focusing sorry. here. You agree. Yeah. You agreed with me uh, that now Allah He is saying that Him and the angels and those who have knowledge is the one who maintain the creation. So you Muslims are polytheist. Yeah, okay, now I am going to explain this verse using another verse. Uh -huh. If you go to Surah Al Maida, verse 6, it said, uh, okay. Now, 
it's here it's saying that one should it should wipe uh -huh. their their heads uh -huh. and their feet like if we understood it if we understood the 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 verse in al Imran the same way we understood the the verse in Surah Maida it uh -huh. means that Muslims shouldn't wash their feet it means that Muslims should wipe their feet but Muslims why don't. why we should understand it this way why we should not why should not because it says in Arabic clearly you should do that. Why you why you are saying we, we should understand uh, it not to do so? Yes, and the thing is that if you go to the beginning of the verse, it says, uh -huh. wa uh -huh. Okay, and then but he continue, but he continue. Uh -huh. so, it's, so it's saying, so the, 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 the wa'avjulikum is actually referring to the washing part, not to the wiping part. But here, by the way, don't you notice that there's something stupid? Because if I washed already my feet, why I need to wipe my feet? So what the problem? What the what? What's up with that? No, it's not saying wipe your feet. It's saying wash. It says. Your feet. It says no. So hold on. It says. Uh, uh, sorry. It says wash your faces and your hands, right, all the way to your elbow. Correct. Yes. Okay. So now, why? What the point of uh, wiping your 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 head? What is that for? Wiping what, my what that yeah what that will do pencil. what that will do wiping the head yeah this is just a spiritual thing like ablution so here we more. here we here we find that Muslims they are making things up Muhammad making up stories to make it his religion a religion Muhammad he have empty uh, prior he have nothing to do and now he is saying to them things they don't they don't make sense because if the ablution is the ablution is to be clean. In the, in the main uh, the main idea behind evolution is, uh -huh. only cleanliness. is what it's not physical cleanliness but also spiritual cleanliness okay how you can be spiritually clean mm. by what by, mm. by washing your hand well this this is uh, more like a ritual all right this I will go with you I will go with you so when your prophet he do his rituals to be clean spiritually and he do it with wa with water have dead dogs and women blood from period and garbage how that is a clean him ritu ritually or spiritually okay so now we still we still we are still on the topic of, of in, in, but in of you jump you jump yeah. to the you jump to the ritual so we can go there no problem no no so yeah I, I i just get dragged by the topic in, but yeah first, yeah but first, you see you're a prophet. He do you say? I, you said to me, you're the one who mentioned this ritual, so we have to finish it too. What the no, point? No. What, yeah, what, okay. the, what the point? No, no. What, you what, see, you jump to the like, verse, and I there's no con. The you know, and, my friend, you jump. No, no. The word no, okay. wa is still continue. Is still continue, and we know what end is. And mean I continue the conversation. So Allah, He bear witness, and the angels, and all those who have knowledge. They are the one who maintain justice. If Allah is the only one who maintain justice, so why the guy from Senegal, I don't know if you know him, Big Sheikh from Senegal, he said to me that the one who is in charge, the one who sent Muhammad as a prophet is the angels. The one who created the whole world is the angels. He said that just today. Do you what agree with him? The, the guy who, I, I don't care what the guy from Senegal. You don't agree why? You, you cannot, you can, you cannot uh, impose on me what uh, another guy. Believes. So you, how many, you how many? But this is a Muslim. This guy is another scholar. This guy is a Muslim. This guy is a Muslim Sunni. This guy is a Muslim Sunni. He speaks seven Arabic dialect. But, but, as I said, that not every Muslim is a scholar. Do you speak seven Arabic dialect like him? I don't speak seven Arabic dialects, but so how you I can, understand so how, so, seven Arabic okay, dialects. Okay, hold on. You just get your prophet busted. Because according to your prophet, your, his people cannot understand the Quran unless the Quran is sent down in seven dialects. Is that correct? Uh, why are you jumping? I am not. I am not. Uh, no, I am not. Because you said to me, I understand the Quran. But now the whole point is proving Muhammad is, is false prophet. You said you under, don't understand the Syrian dialect. Everybody heard you. But you're a prophet. He made it clear that his people cannot handle the Quran 
unless the Quran is in seven dialect. But you said you can handle the Quran. Did you say that? You said, yes, I understand the Quran. And you are trying to explain the Quran to me while you're a prophet and you confirm now to me that you don't know the seven Arabic dialect. So how you explain to me the contradiction between what you said that you can handle the Quran and you can explain the Quran, but your prophet said it clearly, my people cannot do it. And this is authentic hadith. So either okay. Muhammad or either uh, Muhammad if I, want, if I want to understand Christianity, uh -huh. uh, would it be fair that I go to a Muslim and ask him about Christianity or should I go to a Christian? Well, I, I, I went to Muhammad. I, is, is Muhammad a Muslim? Is he a bad Muslim? Is what Muhammad no, no. said. Okay, so if you want to understand our, our literature uh, or hadith, but, uh, like but, but who is more? But who is more? Who, who is more? To, who is more to listen to you? To, who is more to listen to you or Muhammad? No, okay, I understand. Okay, but, if Muhammad he said, "I seek burden and forgiveness from Allah," my people will not be able to do so. Talking about what? Talking about did, having did you, the Quran. Did you memorize every? Did you memorize every single? Hadith with its change of narrations. My friend, this is a Sahih Hadith. This is your business. No, no, did, did you you are, no I know it's a Sahih, you, but did you, you memorize? Like you say you want to go to Muhammad. Did you memorize every single Hadith with its change of narration? Who care? Is that, the, is that my topic no, now? That, that's why. Okay, that's why. If, if you someone is, doesn't know everything, it's not... Not this is not about. Idea. This is he not about. This is not to... about knowing everything. You're a prophet. We are speaking about specific thing, about speaking the seven dialect. This is not about everything. So now you said I don't. Yes. I'm and saying you claim, that if you want and to you understand claim, the hadith, oh, no, the best way of understanding because either is the... either we can understand the Quran. I want you to make it clear. Can we understand the Quran with one dialect or we cannot? If you want to understand the hadith. You this is not the question. Can we understand, my friend, my friend, please. Can we understand the Quran with one dialect? Yes or no? Uh, can you understand the Quran with one dialect? Yes, yes. or no? Okay, so this is a trap question. And this is, for sure, this is, uh, guys, this, guys, this is, this, this, on, listen to on, this, this is a hadith. trap, this is a trap question. Well, are you trying to avoid the trap by avoiding the answer? Yes, because you want to impose your exactly, understanding. Exactly, because belief. if you answer, no, the answer will be not for your benefit or you your religion. So hold on, if no, you, you need to answer. You see, you know that this is disaster, and this is why you refuse to answer because the correct answer, you cannot understand the Quran with one dialect. If you say I can, that will mean that your prophet is a liar. So I but insist. Your, 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 I want. Your I, 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 I like want. Your, my friend, I want you to be honest. Say, can you understand the Quran with one dialect? Yes or no? Um, you well. The dialect that you know, mm -hmm. you can understand the Quran with the dialect that you know. Well, listen carefully. Can you understand the Quran with one dialect? Yes or no? If you study that dialect, you can. So your prophet is a liar. So when he asked for more dialect, he was fabricating reasoning cheating on Allah, saying to him, my people are not capable of doing it. The mic is yours. Mm. As I said, if you want, if you, if you are genuine about I know what you said, I know, but you now what you said mean Muhammad is a liar because he said, my people are not capable of doing it. And this is after the angel gave him the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and then the sixth, and then the seventh. He said, that's enough. I ask per burden from Allah. My people are not 
would not be able to do it. But you just said you can. So Muhammad is a big fraud. Thank you very much. He lied. He lied to Allah. What happened? You have shot attack? <laughs> no. Do you want to call a friend? No, no, no. I'm Do you fine. want to give you some bills, my friend? Is you okay? Is your heart is okay? If you want, just relax, breathe. No, no, no. no, 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 no I'm just fine. I'm fine. Okay, so you, so you agree with me that your prophet he lied to Allah because obviously you can understand the Quran with one dialect, as you said. Everybody heard you. Muhammad is lying to Allah, cheating on him asking for more Quran, claiming, and here, by the way, we have other problem. What kind of God he sent Quran upon request of a man correcting him? Because when Allah, he sent the Quran in one dialect, and then Muhammad, he said, what the heck? Allah, my people are not capable. That means Allah do not know. And your God is being corrected by Muhammad. Okay, so the, the, your your approach to understanding hadith is very unacceptable. Well, here we go, guys. My understanding of the hadith is so, so clear. Even this one need my understanding. No. You, it stays you, clearly. You I not, seek not, Allah. Uh, listen, Allah has commanded you to recite the Quran to your people in one dialect. This is the command of Allah. What Muhammad he said. I ask from Allah burden and forgiveness. My people are not capable of doing it. What do you mean understanding? And then Allah, he sent him second dialect. And then Muhammad, he said the same. Third dialect, the same. Fourth dialect, the same. Seven, six, until they are seven. So, but you said you Muslim can understand the Quran in one dialect. So your prophet is making up a lie. And your God cannot be God. Because you cannot lie to God, can you? And obviously, Muhammad, he fooled his God. Because if Allah was not fooled, he will not send him the second day. Like he will say, listen, potato, one is enough. Huh? Go to the guy, his name is Omar in this court. He said, one is enough. How he, how Omar can do it? But you are saying my people cannot do it? Mm, okay, but you know, the, the actual dialect are. Um, you said to me, you, now, guys, now he was going to ask me what the actual dialect. Are you, are you, are you, you are hilarious. So all this time you say to me, I can understand one dialect, one dialect. And I ask you, do you know the seven dialect? You said no. Now you're asking me, what, do you know what the actual seven dialect is? Who cares? Yeah, so yeah, either we can do it, my friend, no, no, my you, friend, you, my friend, you, listen, you listen, listen. Either we can do it with seven dialects and we have to, or we can do it with one. You said one. It doesn't matter. Let us say I don't speak Arabic. Let us say all oh, those people here do not know Arabic. But what we know that there's seven dialect. That doesn't matter what they are. And then Muhammad he insists that those dialect are necessary in order for Islam to be understood. So how you Muslim understand the Quran by one dialect now? It's impossible, based on your prophet. So either we have to say that you Muslims are lying to us. And Muhammad is saying the truth, or you Muslims are telling the truth, and you can understand by one dialect, and Muhammad is saying a lie. You choose to say Muhammad telling a lie because you said, "Well, we can understand the Quran with one dialect." Well, okay. So this hadith was revealed when, when, when people used to have arguments about dialects. That's why the, his people were not capable on, on agreeing at that time. But now, the, we are more, that's more false. united. That's false. That's, that's false. You are saying to me that, the, that look, the guys, look how smart, how, I'm not insulting, but look what you, how stupid what you said. You said people, they were arguing about dialect, and then Allah sent them dialect. No, this is before he sent the dialect, as you see. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Allah, he said to him, I will send you the Quran in one dialect. Muhammad right away, he says, I ask Allah burden. He did not receive the second dialect yet. He said to him, what are you talking about? My people are stupid. Those are Muslims. Those are not Christians or Jews. Those are dummies. Are you kidding me? 
For Isa, we send one Bible in one dialect. For Musa, we send them one Torah in one dialect. For David, we send them one book Bible, in one dialect. The Bible was not, was not the Bible Hold according on. to Christians. Hold on, change was topic. Not revealed don't, don't change topic. To, to Jesus. Hold and on. It was so now, according to Quran, forget about the Christian now, don't change topic. According to Quran, Allah send one in Jesus. And now you're saying don't change Allah, topic. Yes, you are you changing topic. topic. You're changing topic trying to escape. No, no. Okay, you okay hold on. You want to change, change the topic? Say yes. No, no, no. It's fine. Okay, then stay. Because even if you go there, I will make you shish kebab in two seconds. So I'm warning you. So now we focus here. My people are not capable. You said no, my people are capable. Who of you is saying the truth? You or Muhammad? Are you going to? Are you okay, my friend? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh -huh. Are you sure? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. When a Muslim he said to me, "Yes, yes," that means he's dying. <laughs> okay. So, which one of you is telling the truth, you or your prophet? Um, of course, my prophet. So, why you lie to me? What? You said to me, I can understand the Quran with one dialect. Yeah, I can. Okay. But that's saying his, his no, people at the if, time. If, I'm not his you, people no, at no, the what time. Is time. I'm his are people you saying at to this me, time. Are you saying to me that the Arab who speak perfect Arabic, they cannot understand the Quran with the perfect Arabic they have, and you are the one who don't even know Arabic. You are not even an Arab. You understand the Quran better than them? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that his people at the time. Who is his were, people at that time? Who is his people at that time? They had their own problems. Who they is, had their own who problems. Who is his people at that time? Those are the Arab, pure Arab. How the pure Arab needs seven Quran in seven Arabic, and you are a guy from Pakistan, yet you can understand the Quran in a language you don't even understand. As I said, the, the reason at, of that time there were chiefs, and everyone was arrogant and what does have to do with being arrogant? He said, the listen, the arrogant we deal with them, we will deal with their arrogant. That, that's not a solution. I'm not going to write my book seven times because there's a guy who's an arrogant. That is stupid to say. You see, you're trying to save your prophet, but you are digging sand under his feet and he is going deeper and deeper. So guys, listen carefully. The Quran sent in seven dialect because there's somebody is arrogant. Have you ever heard of silly stupid thing? So Allah he have to write the Quran seven times, but those are, are, okay, I will go with you now, but the arrogant people are still there until now. So the Quran did nothing. As they said, people at the time, you keep saying to me at the time, you keep saying to me, you keep saying to me at the, you keep saying to me at the time, we just have a caller, he said that the angels is the one who created everything and he is a Muslim. So did the Quran, okay, let, did the Quran make it, did the Quran make it clear, <laughs> did the Quran make it clear or make it more confusing? Why this guy from Senegal, he think that the angels created everything? If the Quran in seven day, like, make it clear. Okay, so let's have this analogy. There's like, for example, the Irish, the British, the, uh, not the, the English, the Americans, the Australians, and those people did not have, uh, like, they could not read or write, they were illiterate. <laughs> and they had to memorize everything by heart. Uh -huh. And you imposing on them a specific dialect my made friend, it hard on them friend, to memorize. Look what you just said. Look how, look how silly, That's why, look how silly what you just said. We can read and write. That's why it's easy for us to have the Quran. And First of all, at that time people could not read and okay, write. Okay, hold on. And the they Quran, had their own. The they, Quran, they had their are, own okay, hold on. The Quran problems. you are reading right now, the most famous one, is the Quran of Hafs, correct? Okay, now you are mixing it, the Qiraat with Ahruf. No, 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 no. But yeah, no, hold on. This is the Quran no, 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 hold on, hold on. The Ahruf and Qiraat. I'm not talking about even Qiraat yet. However, if you want to talk about Qur'an, even we'll go even more and more deep. So are you saying to me that the seven, the, the Qur'an, all of them, they are in one dialect? 
Um, no, the, 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 this is, this, the, this is a dispute among the scholars. So hold on. We, is the, is the, we don't, is the, we, is the right reading, now, right is the now, reading of right Ebimus, now we okay, don't know whether, whether... Let us make it simple, let's make it simple. Is the reading of Ibn Mas'ud... Some scholars, some scholars, the, 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 the Fiyahat... Is the reading of Ibn Mas'ud, is the same reading of Hafs? Mm, no, no, not really. Is it the same dialect? I, I have no idea, but... The okay, Mr. No are... idea. Okay, Mr. No idea. Listen. So now, if we go to the Quran, it is it is it changing the dialect or the reading? Change the meaning? Mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes it does, sometimes it does not. Does it does it create a contradiction? Mm -hmm. Well, it, it, depending on the way you... you, you... <laughs> What, what, what? Depending what? It, it, Depending? it can create contradictions. So it doesn't it create a contradiction. Aware. Hold on. Oh, Guys, listen carefully. The bend, he just said, I said to him, do those seven dialect or seven reading, they create a contradiction. He says the bend. So yes, there's contradictions. But isn't it the yeah, Quran said? If someone does not know Arabic like yourself, there would be contradictions. But if someone is well aware of the language, someone, there would be no contradictions. Ah, okay. Like myself. Okay, I like that. So when the Quran says that the sun run into a, a fixed station, and this is in the reading of Hafs. Wait, why don't we go back to the topic of no, no, we I are, we are, we are trying to see why, yeah, you, how you, you can explain the Quran. No, we just showed one. everybody that can explain Wait. the Quran. No, Mr. can explain it's the Quran. Quran is a stupid book. Hold on, other, hold on. Listen, listen, listen. Unethical. So in chapter 36, verse number 38, the verse says, the sun runs on its fixed course. Do you agree with that? Mm, well, this, this verse was, was, uh, was, explained many many different ways by scholars oh, oh, oh there's many ways to explain the verse guys uh, we're talking about are we talking about how uh, we're talking about the cake or how to make the cake is it about cake so now do the sun runs to fix course yes or not well if from from the from from earth to us humans if we look at it it would appear as such I'm not asking about the scientific now. Don't be worried. I'm not talking about science because this is stupid too. But this is not about science now. So do you agree with the statement of the Quran or there's something here missing? Somebody took something. So the sun runs on its fixed course. I believe that the true Quran saying the sun does not run into a fixed course. Which one you think is the correct one? Mm -hmm. Huh? Okay, but uh, why is why does this verse matter? Like this is a very trivial issue. Like, listen carefully. Listen carefully. You see, you, it, don't don't who don't cares? don't. Who don't cares when the, listen, the your prophet like, he said. Your, your prophet, issue. your prophet said, if a fly fell down in your soup, dig it, dig it, dig it, and drink it. Don't do that to me. I'm asking you a specific <laughs> question. Is it which one is the correct reading for this verse? The sun runs into a fixed course, or the sun does not run to a fixed course. Which one? Both can be correct. Both are correct. Yeah. How do you can be correct? It says the opposite. <laughs> Guys, look at this madness. If one verse says the sun does not run, and the other verse saying the sun runs to a fixed course, how it can be the same? Okay, I have to go with that. My, 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 I am already on 6%. You have to go where? My, I am already on 6%. You are in 6 what? My, my, my charge. Ah, oh, your charge. I, we can charge you, don't worry. Okay, somebody can charge him. <laughs> Say Allah, Allah three times, uh, you will be charged. Now you decide to leave? Isn't it obvious mm -hmm. you are running away? Because there's a huge difference between the sun runs to a fixed course and the other verse saying, which is the Quran of Ibn Mas'ud saying the sun does not run to a fixed course. So how this is a Quran, seven dialect yet is contradicting each other. This is not only about how to read it. This is not about dialect. This is about totally the opposite. And guess what? The Quran says 
if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. So Allah in the Quran, he put a rule, golden rule. If you find in this book a lot of contradiction in chapter 4, verse number 82, that means this book is not from Allah. And we just found tons of them. I did not even mention the scientific mistake in that verse where the sun goes to a fixed course these, every day. These, these are not contradictions. It's only contradictions if you choose to think of them as contradictions. No, it if is you, because if, you, I say, if, if I say, if I say the sun rises to a fixed course, listen, truth, listen, listen. Okay, hold on. Okay, 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 we, okay. We, I will go with it, guys. Listen, like this, 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 I, I this, want you to explain to me, especially, hold especially on. when it comes to, wait, especially when it comes to, to the Quran. Aha, uh -huh, the Quran, many, yeah. But listen, listen, listen. If I, okay, I will make be, the sentence, hold on. I explain to us and there's no contradiction. The, the car run to a station and the car does not run to a station. How there's no contradiction? Go ahead, the mic is yours. Listen carefully. The car run to a station this is number one sentence. Now the second sentence, the car does not run to a station. You say there's no contradiction. Explain. Does not run. And the other one saying it run to a station. How in the world you say such a state it's it's silly sta you know statement, the Quran, if you think about it, what well, think about it? Runs or does not run? This is about physical movement of the sun. The sun runs or the sun does not run. So if we say the sun runs, that means the sun is running to a station and there's a station where it's going to stop. If we say it does not run, it means there's no running at all. It is totally the opposite. It's gone. Potato, potato, potato. Potato, potato, potato. Potato, potato, potato. See, uh, Ultimate Ford, everyone come here, he laugh at you. He says, Whoa, what this guy saying? Uh, the sun, uh, that the angels created everything. And you are the biggest scholar in the world, ultimate fart. I will make you the joke of everybody. Just wait. <laughs> may Fakira may, bless you. <laughs> may the God of Fakiras bless you. So guys, if you go to Ibn Kathir, you will find in the stupid book of Ibn Kathir, he mentioned clearly, that the sun does not run to a fixed course, according to Ibn Masud, which is totally the opposite from the most well-used Quran, which is Hafs. Do you see it? The reading of Ibn Masud was Shamsu. Here it says, was Shamsul Tajrili Mustakharin Laha. Ibn Mas'ud, he says, and the sun runs to with no fixed course for a term. Do you see it? <laughs> so Allah, hey Allah, listen, you need to send us the Quran in seven days like Allah. I mean, those my people are stupid. You know, what's wrong with you? You think those Muslims, those are not the Christians, those are not Jews. This is why Musa, he received one Torah. He did not need seven Torah. His people are smoked. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Lord have mercy. Potato, potato, potato. Potato, potato, potato. No, it doesn't. You know, here it says the sun does not run at all to a term or a station. Nowhere. It's the opposite. I don't know if you can zoom in. Uh, there's the other website. It's better than this one, uh, which will show you uh, the like more. The text will be more clear. So if we go, let us see here, Al Al Alm, uh, thirty six, thirty eight, thirty Thirty-six. Yeah, and then you will find somebody in the in speaker corner, England, who do not even know one Arabic word. He will give you, he will school you, 
about what the Quran is saying and he understand the Quran perfectly. What a bunch of potatoes. So here, you see here the sun runs to a fixed course. Then if we go down a little bit, we will find that Ibn Mas'ud Quran says the opposite. The sun does not run to a fixed course. And here, not to forget to mention that Muhammad explaining the movement of the sun every day, which is proving Muhammad to be a false prophet because the sun is not moving anywhere. Do you know where the sun goes? Muhammad said, Abu Dhar, he said, Allah and his prophet knows best. Muhammad, he said, the sun runs to a fixed course. Then you see what the other Quran saying of Ibn Mas'ud, the sun does not run to a fixed course. لا مستقر لها, as you see here. And the sun runs with no fixed course, totally the opposite. The second you show the Muslims the reality, they take a hike. But imagine if this guy is speaking to someone who knows not, not much about Islam. He will play all kind of games. Allah, he took shahadas. Allah is talking about his attribute. What attribute? Allah, he witness. Witness to who? We witness only for someone have a higher authority. So when I, I speak to you about Christ, Christ said every two of you mention my name. I will be between them. I will be the third. So we are witnessing to Christ. But this God, he is saying there is no God but he. And yet the Quran claimed that this is a book made by God. And the one is talking is God. But then this God, he make poo poo, non-stop. Is this his mistake from Tafsir? This is not Tafsir. This is Quran. Quran Ibn Mas'ud says, and the sun runs with no fixed course for a term. Listen carefully. We are not saying this is Tafsir. This is Quran. There is there's many Quran. Quran of Hafs says the sun runs to a fixed course. Quran of Ibn Mas'ud says the sun does not run to a fixed course. And it can't be both correct because here is totally the opposite meaning. You see here it says, Abdullah ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, and Ibn Mas'ud and Ibn Abbas, they have different reading. So now we have three major names in Islam. They have Do we have any Muhammadan? And this is the link for those who want the link to save reference. So you can get the Abdul Bastid when they speak about the Quran preservation, because this is obviously not a preservation. This is this is a clear mistake opposing the meaning totally which show in contradiction in the top of that, the verse itself is proving that the one who made this verse is an idiot because he is totally explaining supposedly the sun movement every day. So how God he think that the sun is going every day from the east to the west to a fixed station? How the God who can see everything, the God who created everything he think in such a way Obviously, this funny, silly, stupid Quran is created by Muhammad Abdul. Police be upon him. He's making up stories, claiming that the sun is moving every day from point A to point B. And the sun take a nap after under the throne of Allah and then ask for permission.
Anyway, I think we have enough for today. Did we have good time? Don't forget not to give us a like and don't even leave a comment and don't do anything because your support is not needed. And you are a wonderful person by doing nothing. And those who do nothing, they are nothing. So stay nothing. I am the last one to be called such a thing. If you don't believe me, or even Joe Biden, he says, you know, you know the thing? Right? You want to be like Joe Biden? You know the thing? By the way, my name is Hunter. I'm going to make a drawing. I will put it for sale. And the only one who buy my drawing is from China or from Ukraine. Because it's amazing. You know, I draw a duck. Seriously, a beautiful duck. I will put it for oxen. And you know the thing. And if I say to the Muslims, this is a duck made by Allah, they will put a lot of money in it. If I say this is a duck, is the one who lay eggs and made Muhammad, oh, they will go crazy, they will worship it. Why your stream is shorter? Will my stream is shorter or, or longer? Nobody is watching. Thank you very much. If I am a Muslim, I will have millions of watchers every day. It's the truth. I stay here six hours, nobody watch. I stay here half hour, nobody watch. We beat Muhammad every day, nobody watch. I will tell you why. Because people like to see people on camera. People just want to laugh. People just want to entertainment. And nobody is seeking the truth. How many times I stay six hours, seven hours, eight hours, ten hours? Nobody watch. And then Abdul, he make a video for 15 minutes. He have 100,000 in two days. You need to ask yourself why. Muslims are deceived, but they support their garbage cult. Christians don't, do not deserve Jesus. Most of Christians don't deserve Christianity. They are Christian by name. They will go to hell. They think Christianity is just to say, I'm a Christian. They never stand for their faith. They never fight for their faith and never stop against and confront those who they are fighting their faith. This is why the atheists, they control your schools because you go sleep. You became a potato. They teach your kids how to be a homosexual. And you never open your mouth. Potato. They force in your, your student, your, your, your children, education will make them poisoned. Look, look at your kids in the street. Look at them. They are showing their pants when they walk in the street. Christian went to sleep for a century and the atheists took over. And now the Muslims are using those atheists against you. Is it time for you, Christian, to wake up and be something, be someone, be Christian? They control your school, your university, your teachers. Where are you? We are the majority, but we are the minority. We are the majority in number, but we are the minority in quality. Because none of us is trying to be Christian for real, because it's going to cause him trouble. So we chose shame for peace. And the peace we are talking about, we are talking about war. We are talking about they will not leave you alone, right? So you choose shame. So they teach your children shame, and you shut up, and now your children became shameful. Drugs, sex, you know, prostitution, gangs, and the, the society is, is, is a screwed up. You became like Afghanistan, like, like Pakistan. Because a Christian decided to go to sleep. And then what they are doing, they are busy waving their hands to Jesus. Is that what Jesus says to you? Do you, have you ever heard of John the Baptist? Have you? John the Baptist, he lost his neck standing up against a ruler. For he took a woman, she is not lawful for him. How many of you is John the Baptist? You don't even dare to protect your kids from what they teach them in schools. How many of you go to the school board and say to them, shame on you, what are you teaching my kids? If nobody stands against them, they take over. And this is what happened. Go sleep. 
I'm here to beat the hell of them. Wicked. How in the world she is a Christian for you? Is my ramble still coming or not? Are we still going a ramble? Well, I think ramble is still going. And maybe now in need to we are back. I'm not sure. So you know when they saw this uh, condense is a <laughs> is a Christian, you are just insulting Christianity. Shame on you. Trucker Carson is the last one to be called a Christian. Go and check his video with Andrew Tits. I mean, how do in the world those they claim to be Christian? They go and they meet with the pimp and they agree with the pimp who lured tens of women, hundreds of women into sex business. Go and see how many times they say the F word in the interview. And then they say to you, Trucker Carson is a Christian. And they say to you, this Condanis is a Christian. Is that the Christianity we are talking about now? Those are the Christians? Look like uh, Paul was not a Christian then. Those are your Christians? <laughs> It looked like you guys became Abdul too. If those are the Christians, that means you are doomed. Those are the last one to consider Christians. This women condense and this guy Trucker Carson, they are a fraud. They are that they sort of vibe with the conspiracy. But they have no use. They abuse you. This guy, Trucker Carson, he went to Russia to meet with Putin. Look at him when he's talking to Putin. You will see that there is someone, someone is mentally ill talking. <laughs> you know? And then he go to the grocery store and he say, look how cheap it is. But who is the stupid here? The money he spent in one day, how much it take for someone from Russia to make it? If I go to Sri Lanka and I spend $15 a day, doesn't mean Sri Lanka is cheap. It's cheap for me, you donkey Carson. But the one who lives in Sri Lanka, he made a dollar or two a day. So how he can survive and spend $15 a day? And those American in the chat look amazing. Russia is so cheap. Yeah, it's so cheap, brother. What a stupid people. I say, when you are a fool, you deserve what will happen to you. Honestly, if you are a fool, you deserve what will happen to you. So if those are the best example for you to teach you what's going on in the world, you are doomed. Those are doing business. They are they own hundreds of millions of dollars. They are not doing charity. And look how things work. Many years ago, I've been offered a job in the most important newspaper in Israel. They told me we will give you like a whole column just for you to write in it. I rejected. I asked them one question. I said, do you post anything against Christianity in the newspaper? They said, well, you know, it's a free country. I said no. Condanis, she go and work with a Jew and she hate Israel. And she claimed to be Christian, but she don't mind to make money from those who don't believe in Jesus. And he make videos saying Jesus is just a rubble guy. This is what this guy, what his name? The with ugly voice, the owner of his her business. He said. She don't mind to work with the one who insult Jesus. Suddenly she become a Christian. 
after we make a hundred two hundred million dollar in our pocket now it's time to be Christians <laughs> don't let them fool you all of them they are for sale trucker Carson Fox News is a fake station fake news but aren't you the one who worked with them all those years So how they are fake news and you made millions and millions and hundreds of millions of dollars from them? Oh, now they fired him. So now they are dirty and bad. Yeah, Ben Shakira Shapiro. So be careful. The Lord said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who does his will. And none of those people doing the will of the Father. Is it the will of the Father to go and meet Andrew Tits, who is a big businessman in the porn industry, and praise him for what he is doing, and claiming that they are accusing him falsely? Is that what the Christian people do? Aren't you disgusted? When we say things as it is, people get upset. But you know, you know what? Who cares who get upset, who don't? I don't care. I will say what will make people upset. Because the truth always hurt. You make nobody upset, that means you said nothing. Same time you have to examine, not everything hurt is truthful. It hurt. To see someone claiming to be a Christian going with the pimp and she agree with him and she is trying to teach the Christians how to be good and who is the one is going to teach them how to be good and rotates this is Candanis and this is your trucker Carson both of them they are a piece of shit if you cannot see it I can see it from long long distance the Lord he said from their fruits you shall know them and those who betray Jesus, they betray Jesus. Do we agree? That's it, they betray Jesus. If I praise a pimp who brag about how to fool women and use them and abuse them and make money from them in a sexual way, how I can be even clean to be Christian for a second? And not only that, they went to meet him when the guy is under the court accused of rape. Can you believe it? <laughs> I mean, the guy is under court investigation. And then we go, we meet this filthy scumbag. And he is the one he is going to teach us uh, ethic. Are you sure? Well, now we know how Muhammad became a prophet. Now we know. The whole world is doomed. Your best man, philosopher, is a pimp. Your best woman is a one who support a pimp. Your best journalist is a pimp lover. Who's left? So all this garbage you listen to, they are not qualified to be to be listening to Ben Shabiro, this Candanis, Drakkar Carson, this filthy son of Muta the pimp and Drotets, you know, a, a mentally ill person. There is something wrong in this society. Not only with the young ones. Drakkar Carson is not is not not that young. 
It's not. And I will tell you why they do this. Those people, all what they care for is how to make money. So this guy became so popular, became the topic of everybody. So we fly there. Because now I can get his fan to be my fan too. And more fan mean more money. It's all about money. Zero ethic. And then the foolish ones, they go around and they say, Tucker Carlson is a Christian, and this woman is a Christian. This, those are the last ones to be called Christians. Shame on you. You know, if you want to know anyone, the quality of this one, see he curse who and he bless who. And then you will know who is he. Is that fair? See he is a friend with who and who is his enemy. Those people, Drucker Carson and Candanis, they are the friends of the devil. And they defend the devil. And yet you want to convince yourself that they are Christians. We have Muhad is a Muslim. Put your hand up, Muhad. Put your hand up so I can invite you here. I did not see your hand up. Oh, now I see you. Okay, go ahead, Muhad. Hello? Yes, Muhad. You are a Muslim? Yes. Alhamdulillah. How old, how old are you? 15. Is your dad there? No. What? Oh, I want to ask you some questions. You are so young to talk to you. If you, you know, you are too young. Yes, let me let me just ask you some questions, alright? Okay, ask me a question. Alright, so you believe Islam is from Satan? No, I believe Islam is Satan. Alright, can me too. Alright, open up uh, Matthew chapter twelve, verse twenty-six. Tell oh, me okay. what it says. You tell me what it says. It says if Satan uh -huh. asks out Satan, uh -huh. his kingdom will be divided, uh, and his kingdom will fall. Okay, this Islam is, a Islam, is of this. Islam is divided, oh? and the kingdom of Satan is uh, is doomed. Your prophet himself he said that the the faith of Islam will die, and right away after he died he said that. Don't you know that? No, oh, but let's all right show me okay here we go you okay if you if you click at my page in youtube you will see in the top of my page sahih muslim your prophet he said that islam will go back like a serpent going back to its hole which is in mecca so islam will shrink faith will die and even the muslim will be misleaded by the quran as an example not limited here here we go this is this is hadith from your prophet from at Tirmidhi. Yes, it's, uh, which it's, one? Uh, hadith uh, in page number seven one eight in the book of at Tirmidhi. Here in front of you, I, I'm showing you in the screen. I can I can give you the link. You can use Google Translation. If you want to invite your dad to join you, that will be better, so he can help you. Whoever die, will he had a man to fast? This is not the same uh, hadith. Which hadith are no, you seeing right now? The same had hadith here says that the, the Muslim will be misled by the book of Allah. It says here that Gabriel... Yes, but which hadith? Can I get the specific hadith? Uh, in this page, it doesn't say the number, but uh, it's uh, in the term of the uh, page number 718. I just give you the link. Open the link. All right. So Jibril, at uh, Jibril, he came to me, and he said he was so sad. Muhammad, he came so sad. Omar Khattab, he said, and uh, he was very sad. So I said, "What's up with you, Prophet? Why you are sad?" He said, "Gabriel, he came to me, and he said, your people will be misled after you, which means after your death.'" I said to Jibril. 
how they will be misled by from guidance or from belief he said both he said how they will how this will happen and i leave the book with allah of allah with them he said by the book of allah they will be misled so what the bible says is clear. the kingdom of satan is very much divided muslim are divided muslims they killed the grandsons of muhammad right away after he died right away all the caliphate were died and killed by muslims so what do you talk what are you talking about all you muslims are doomed from the beginning of islam even your prophet was accused by muslims that he stole an underwear correct what he stole an underwear yeah but a nice one isn't it isn't it the quran says that the muslim the companion they said that the prophet is the one who took the underwear of the jew and then allah oh, he that's... said and then allah he says oh, me, i got uh, i got an explanation from abu dawood i opened up his book what he said this is like islam islam is gonna shrink uh -huh. islam is gonna fall and then it's gonna come back well and this but, is in the but you, Quran. But, it's but you remember Quran but you remember hold on no it's going to come back when when uh, at the day of judgment when the day of when judgment, Isa, okay, hold on. Will come the day back. of judgment is over. I mean, what what, what come? <laughs> if if the Islam is going is gone, and then in the day of judgment it's too late. People are dead. That's it. No, uh, again, again, what I meant, what I meant, is that Isa alayhi salam is gonna come and uh -huh. fight the jail. Okay. And then me, Islam will rise back again. Okay, let me ask you, why Isa yes. is the one who will fight the Dajjal at Muhammad? Because he's a prophet. Every prophet has a uh, power. Every prophet has a prophecy. What, what is the power of your prophet? Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He was a noble prophet. He, he how he is he a had, noble he had, how he is a noble prophet, and his followers are you know accusing him of stealing underwear. Rick, the Quran, chapter three, verse one sixty one. The noble prophet accused by the noble you, companions, you, 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 huh? Right, Christian prince. If we're gonna compare compare all the prophets. Which uh, and we're gonna say Muhammad's one of those prophets. Which prophet will had a difficult life? Difficult life since the birth. Yes, yeah, since the birth. Well, Muhammad, he you know he have a difficult life. I agree. Uh, as an example, uh, according to Muhammad, he uh, uh, he was suffering from epilepsy. Oh, but his parents died to at his birth. But, uh, his but, parents died as uh, his, first, his first, own family first abolished all, him. His okay, own family okay. abolished him. Okay. To, Why they abolish him? Yes. Is that because he's a good boy or because he was a bad person? Well, it was it was mostly because uh No, I heard that yeah, he was a, no, I heard no that he I heard that because he was a bad person and he was behaving misbehaving with the girls of the family, so they get rid of him and they send him far away. No, this is false. Uh, the reason is why false. Muhammad Sallallahu okay. was abolished As because Muhammad, of his, listen, listen. his weird teaching. Muhammad abolished what? What? I didn't say that. He I said, said his family abolished Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because of his weird teachings. As we know, Arabia at that time was a was a horrific uh, time. The people killed their daughters. The people uh, worshipped uh, worship literally. They were my, literally my friend, pagans. My friend, my friend. All those yes, stories, yes. all those stories you are saying to me, it's absolutely false. Where in the Quran, it says that the, the Arab, they killed their daughters. You want me to show proof? Yeah. You didn't know that? You didn't know Arabs killed? No, I'll show you. because if the Arab killed their daughters, then how the Arab have daughters and kids? <laughs> yes, that was, that, was, uh, that was the dumb logic of no. uh, the Arabs. No, you are just an ignorant like the rest of, of, of the Muslims. The Quran does not say that the Arab killed their daughters. It says when the soul will be asked for which reason it was killed, the soul, not the infant. Nowhere it says infant. So the Muslims, all right, when they, me, all done. so when the Muslim, they say, such a statement it's a fabrication when the soul will be asked not the girl <laughs> can you show me the word girl in the verse you muslims yes, you'll... Give me what they give me give you what you want me to give you the time wait 
This is the verse in the front of your eyes. Chapter 81, verse number 8. This is not about a female infant. You Muslim lie when you translate. And I challenge any Muslim to show me the word female. If you show me the word female, I will shave my 20 meter beard. You will? I will. I will make I will make one of right, my cousins. Quran, Quran chapter 8, Quran chapter uh, 81, uh -huh. verse 8 to 9. It doesn't say anything about infant. You Muslims are a bunch of liars. It's, yeah, this is speaking about the soul, the soul, the soul, the soul, the soul, the soul. Here we go. When the soul shall be joined with their body, the soul, the soul will be Where asked. Where stands it? What are you reading? The verse before it, verse number seven. You Muslim, you lie in the translation. There's no female. There's no infant. All those words Ayah are eight. not exist. Ayah 8. Huh? Read Ayah 8. Yeah, where is the Read word? Ayah, eight, okay, show me where is the word infant. Show me the word female and infant. I want to see it. You want in the Arab version, alright? Arab version? What Arab version? Show me where it says female. The Arab, uh, the Arab uh, trans. Yes, yes, I'll show you. Oh, me, show me, show uh, me. Uh -huh. Seconds. <laughs> I have to go easy with him. He's just a kid. <laughs> Wait, will you shave off your beard? I already shaved it. I lost with you. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you Muslims are a bunch of potatoes. You light yourself, you add things. You see, they say that the Quran is not corrupt. Look at this corruption. All those things you see here in the translation is not exist. Where is the word female? Where is the word infant? Where it says that? Can you show me the word female and the word infant? Just give me tw uh, two seconds. Okay, two, uh, I'll give you two days. Why you don't call your dad? What? Why you don't call your dad to join you? Why should I? Because your dad, his dad. I don't, go easy. You don't you don't respect your dad? No, I want to go easy on you. Oh, okay. Thank you. I could tell your mom to make you a sandwich if you need more time. What happened? Show me the word, the word oh, female. Uh, Where is the word female in the verse? Yes, let me read it in Arabic. I'm not, uh, I'm just, uh, I'm still learning Arabic. Give oh, me you that. are still learning Arabic. Uh, uh, take it easy on me. Okay. What happened? You are taking advantage of me, what? right? Because I don't know Arabic, and you are very good in Arabic, and that's why you are coming here to show your muscles, and I will look like a fool in yes. front of everybody. Thank you very much. Shame on you. Is that what you do for people no who they are younger than you? Don't you know that I'm 14 years what? old? Is that because I'm younger than you take advantage of me? This is what the Muslim yes. they will say now. The Muslim they will say, Christian Prince is debating a kid. Well, all of you are kids. Uh, by the way, Aisha, she was six years old. She was a mother of the believers at the age of six. Based in this, you are a grandfather of Aisha. You are 15. You are very old. So did you find the word girl and infant or it's a fabrication? Where is the word girl and where is the word infant? What does it say in Arabic? What is it? Can you read it out? I don't, I don't what know Arabic. You tell me. I want to find the word girl. Call, your, call no, your dad. No call your dad. No, call your dad. Call your dad. What? Tell get, no, no. Read it in Arabic. Listen, listen. Your dad in the kitchen doing dishes to his mom as almost and they do. Ask him to come for five minutes and let him read it for you and tell me where is the word infant and girl. I want to see them. Tell your mom to give him a break. I mean, the poor guy. He did the laundry, he did everything on Sunday. So let what him What are come. you talking about? Your dad, where is your dad? You cannot read it, then your dad can read it. Okay, bring your mom. Give me five seconds. Look, again, five okay. seconds? Yes. Oh. So your dad is doing dishes right now. I, I agree, I like that. 
Alright, so uh, Christian Prince. Uh huh. I, I I can't read Arabic very good. I can't prove it to you that oh, in okay, Arabic okay, it says it. Okay, but bring, I can okay, prove but, you, but, but but bring me your dad. But take your butt out of here. What a bunch of potatoes. You see how they lie? All those words are not exist in the Quran. This verse is about the soul. A person who was killed, his soul will be questioned. For what reason you've been killed, murdered, why? No word about female, no word about infant, have nothing to do with this garbage. Every single Muslim is, is, a, is an idiot until he proved the opposite. They don't even use their brain. It says in the front of you, when the souls will be joined, the souls, the souls. And this soul will be asked, what is the word female? The body of the person is al-maw'udah, the body. Jutha. <laughs> So this, this body will join with the soul and we will ask why you've been murdered, for what a crime. And he said that Islam abolish such a behavior. Where is the abolishment? Show me. Abduls. Every Abdul is a stupid fool until he proved the opposite. And the second he proved the opposite, he is an ex Muslim. They don't dare to send their men to debate me, they send me a kid. And he will make me shave my beard. I mean, this is the only treasure I have. I have no towels, I dry my hands with it. Not like Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad, he go to the bathroom or he do masturbation. He dry his hands on the wall. His wall is like an ultimate fart wall. Have you ever heard of someone is a prophet of God? He dry his hands on the wall. What kind of Picasso art Muhammad he have on the wall? Let us see where is the hadith. <laughs> um. <laughs> Imagine how, how we clean the house of Muhammad. Let us see if we can find it. Give me a second. Look how clean Prophet Muhammad, how clean his house. The Prophet, he took a bath of Janaba, sexual relationship, or with a dream. Muhammad have been with a dream, guys. He first cleaned his private part with his hands, and then he rubbed his hand on the wall. <laughs> he was touching what? His private part. And then what next? He rubbed his hands on the wall. This is your best man. So you can, by the way, I challenge you Muslim to do this. You can wash your hands and touch the wall every time you do that and you will see how dirty the wall will be. I remember Muhammad when they say he wash his hands, it doesn't mean really he's washing.
This is your prophet, the prophet of potato. Now we know why the wall behind Ultimate Fort is so dirty and ugly. My hands, are, uh, they are sweating. I need to touch the wall, but there's no walls around me. I will go to the Kaaba. Oh boy. All right. I think we have enough for today. You guys, I hope you have enough of me. And uh, I want to say thank you for those who always, uh, you know, like I always complain about people not supporting but the truth, there is some people who they are really wonderful people. They support me. They are here, always here. They come. But I get upset. And for sure, I don't mean those people. All right? And if you agree that I don't mean you, then you should invite me to come to your house. And then I will dry my hands on your wall. So you can't remember me. And that way I will become a prophet of Allah. I want to go to the White House and visit Joe Biden. You know the thing. And I will go to his office and I will touch the wall everywhere. And Joe Biden, he will say, what are you doing? I say, Prophet Muhammad says that. Isn't it you who said that if you, the Prophet Muhammad, he said, if you see something not right, change it by your hand. Well, this is what my hands can do. I will go to the bathroom and put my hands on your face. You ugly, filthy Joe bite me. I hope soon we will, God uh, will send you vacation. He will give you retirement in Hunter Biden Palace. But I hope we will not have this uh, mentally ill woman. <laughs> what her name? Lafar uh, Kamala Harson, Harsun. You know, mentally, I don't know what's wrong with this country. I mean, if this is the guy who is a president and this is the one who is a vice president, America is screwed. Imagine if we have war and Camilla Harrison is the one in charge. Oh boy. I will migrate to Gaza. It's going to be more safe. <laughs> <laughs> what a stupid nation I mean if you want to know a nation how stupid they are look at their president you will know how stupid they are <laughs> good for you American alright guys I need to go and shave my beard because I told the guy I promised him he got me busted you know he said uh, the Bible says kingdom Satan you know Satan will can destroy it like, what the heck he got a verse from the Bible how you can fight that? He just destroyed you all together. Yeah. And uh, you know he had no mercy. I hope next time he will have more mercy on me. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And this is your brother Christian Prince who was serving you humbly for today. And you know the thing. Leave a comment. God is good. So is Jesus.